on paprika what did you find yeah bro so it's actually deep you know i mean i can't i can't tell you why not because like there's like yeah. a thing but just i also don't know what what yeah happened it just got time. we've mm. had a few conversations about it but like there's no real Attack for real to go see like you know what i mean mm. that's why even like to this day it's like still a little bit touch and go like we cool we mm. didn't cover the child and stuff but like it be like that in the <laughs> It's crazy that the answers nobody had I found when searching for myself. Let's toast to victory. Pick up your glass, show me love for once. Let's toast to victory. The energy is not as crazy, but welcome to Chapel It with Buddha T. I am the Lord of the entire. Lord of the every, Lord of the chap, Lord of the rapway, uh, not the Lord of House Vogue Min Ganjona, Lord of the Adam <laughs> game, Lord of the crew, Lord of the pro beans, Lord of the entire. Uh, we are here with the hardest, mm. the freshest, mm. the best, the greatest. For sure. So, Myama Blackie, the one. <laughs> Give it to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, obviously the energy is not the same this week. Compared to? To, uh, well, any other weeks Oh, yes, lives. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, for you real, know? for real. Yeah. We tried. We tried pre to pick it up, but obviously. I, it's, it's a different time. Uh, we just lost one of our goats mm. from, from the industry. You now... Uh, uh, in the lead of on some level, no? Mm. You you could say that. I could, I could, I could. Yeah. How did that hit you? Did you get it on Friday also? Um. Yeah, I was actually on my way to. Ish, where's the place? Uh, any down, Jeff? I remember. Shows. I remember all I'm talking. <laughs> I remember all I'm talking. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was on my way to a show with Venom and Gary and Double D actually. So Double yeah. D, it actually hit him the hardest because he's like you know super yeah. super close yeah yeah he knows him for real for real yeah so yeah bro it's just one of those losing Keenan Forbes first did you ever think mm. I would so have abruptly. never thought so and abruptly. like that also like this because that one as soon as you see it you're like ah it's fake news there's no way it just didn't <laughs> make sense for me but for me because I got it from KO before I hopped on the net mm. that's how I know it is <laughs> I was just like, yo, why? Like, I got back on my phone, and I had a missed call from him, and I had a text from Ufax, and probably two other people had texted me, and I'm just like, it's can't yo, what be. the hell is happening? This can't be. And I get on the phone with this nigga. That, like, drive, that drive to that place was like one and a half hours, and we were almost there. Like, the whole time we were quiet, you know what I mean? Because it's a long drive. Everyone's, like, kind of sleepy and yeah. listening to the music on the way. Miss Sophia, but it's like 20 minutes away. And then this thing just comes up. I want to say, Sophia, good show. Yeah. So you already know the energy is going to be down well, at the show. No. Everyone there already, probably already knows. So it's just like a weird a weird time to like kind of get the yeah, news. But like, this. And to still have to put on a show. Mm. What was that like? Because at least for me, I was at the crib, you know. Mm. Yeah. I was hectic, though, because my DJ... Double D is like super close. Yeah, so he and like, he's the one jamming. He was the one that was like down the most. We were the one like comforting him, like, yo, Doug, you know what I mean? It's, That's crazy. it's one of those ones that you can't really plan for it. You can't really. You know? Yeah. So, That's yeah, but crazy. we still put on a little show. But yeah, mm. everyone everyone was sort of some, but everyone knew what was going on. So it's just like one of. One of those ones. That's a that's cr- that's crazy news for the country. Like rest in peace to uh, Keenan Forbes, Keenan Jared Forbes, but AKA one of the greatest to ever do it in our country. Uh, you came up off of AKA, of course. Mm. Like he, you were, I yeah. guess, the high school way when for sure, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. rocking high school, up a little bit of primary actually, probably yeah, grade six, seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, so yeah. that that uh that timeline of of of, of AKA and KO and stuff like that was before yeah, yeah. 
Nasty and Reese and whatever. So I was more yeah, yeah, yeah. Nasty and Reese and them, but obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's game. more. Yeah. But that's when you're what? Like closer to finishing high school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, and yeah, they were running it. So obviously they were running at the same time that Nash and them were running it. But yeah, that's. AK is a big part of just the sound and just the direction. The culture. Of, 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 yeah. of hip hop. And you had a session with him for Mass Country. Yeah. Ish. So that's a bit crazy. Was that. That, that was your first time coming together? Mm-mm, it was actually the second time in studio. So the thing with Keenan is like, I think he'd only want to hit me up like if he's sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because after the first session, we did we did one song and then like we were just rambling on like other songs, like just, you know, rapping just on beats and stuff like yeah. that. And then after the session, I hit him up. I was like, ish, dog. You know, the one song had a dope direction, but the other stuff we're <laughs> doing, I, <laughs> it's chill out on that thing, you know? And he was like, yeah, 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 I get you, I get you. Yeah. So we didn't speak for a long time. I just saw him at, like, shows and stuff like that. Yeah. And then I saw that he's, fin- that he's wrapping up the album, and I was like, oh, Fitz. Come on. Oh, Fitz, yeah, you gotta have the hardest. You gotta have the hardest. I actually asked him if he has that other song we did, and he's like, nah. I don't have it. And I was like, did you even listen to it? He's like, nah. He's <laughs> like, hey, then let's just have a session. So he first sent me, like, the song. There's a song on the thing with, with Nadia and him. It's like one of those uh, Chris Brown, Make Mill Nicky. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On yeah, the yeah. pool. Oh, he wanted yeah. to throw you on the hook. Throw on the hook, yeah. yeah. Come so, do the R&B, man. Yeah, so he did it. And then he was like, yo, just redo this hook in your way. And then we'll do a, a session. Oh, when okay, yeah, that's, that's fine. So we did that, and then I got to him at the session. Everyone was there. He was literally wrapping it up with a Z-Dog, Chopper, mm. Yanga was I there. I saw the snaps. MT was, MT there. was yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. it was going down. And then, yeah, I was like, yo, listen to this song we did the first time we linked. And he's oh, like, yeah, yeah. He ended up getting him to pull that out. Yeah. He's okay. Like, he has the board there, and he's like, nah, let's take out eights, put this one. I need this on the album right now. Because actually, they've been working on it for a long time. So everyone was yeah. like, ah. How can you just take out this song that's been there for so long and you mm. want to put this thing? And I was like, it's dark. Me also, I felt the same way because... Which know, one now? The deep. one from the, f- the yeah, first... Yeah, the first session. Yeah, it's a crazy So song, it actually had connected, that mm. joint. You niggas just slept on it <laughs> from that <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then you put it on. And then, yeah, I had I had two two features on the album. And I was like, hey, dog, me, I'm happy. Yeah. You know, if I can get this two, I know it's going to run. I already know the album's a classic because I heard it the whole time. When I was there, I was like, hey, dog, you know. That's move. crazy. How does something like that feel when you then get the news? It's Ish. like, because that was like, what, probably two weeks, a yeah. month ago? At mm. most, maybe three weeks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, that's, a that's different the first feeling. thing I thought about that when, when it happened. I was like, yo, yeah. I was listening to this guy like a few weeks ago. We were wrapping up the album. He literally posted a few days ago that like, yo, it's done. We're moving now. Yeah. Now we're focusing on to go in, playlisting. Yeah. We're focusing on merch. We're focusing on other stuff. So, yeah, it's just it's a weird time, bro. And it's and it's actually like it's crazy how the like the last the last few of these instances have just been weird. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like it's not. Also, this shit is like happening like sort of live jive now. Like people mm. are just getting dropped in the streets, mm. and it's like, what the hell? Mm. So it's like you can't really adjust, really. You yeah, know? it's all happening on it's the fly. All, yeah, so that's crazy. Does it put any fear in your heart on any level? I mean, or you feel like you're moving gracious, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to get turned down up I try my best to, yeah. like, you know, stay grounded and, and stay prayed up, you know, stay, you know, just in yeah, line. Keep, keep the vibes. I mean? In yeah. terms of, like, spiritually or whatever. But, I mean, you yeah. can't really judge what happens, like, a M. Clavin, you know? And yeah. I don't really know how things happen, like, for each thing, because they're all, like, very random, very. You know, so yeah. you can't really say like, okay, low and they look, so I won't do this in order for, because it's like, <laughs> yeah. you don't know what really happens. All the searches you know? are so different, that's a fact. You're going to have to be in fear, dog, of, of whatever, of like, you know, mm. yeah. anything anything that might come about, you have to be in fear because yeah. you don't know what really happened. And death, just in general, has kind of been it's in scary. the air. Like, it's scary. Since 2020, yeah, to keep it a bean is actually kind of scary because... Even if it's not, like, maybe the gun violence, niggas is also just dropping for all sorts of other mm. reasons. 
And not even just celebrity stuff. Like, this thing happens, like, daily, weekly, you see in the news. Niggas is dropping, man. Like, oh, like, yeah, I'm just brothers, down, white, yeah. white. And it's random. It's not like something, you know, be cool or whatever. It's yeah, just it's just whatever. That's show on it. Yeah, bro. That's a crazy time to live in. And that's actually where the conversation went with the goats when we were talking, like... Because we spoke on the phone probably like three times on and off. Because the news just mm, broke, yeah. so it's just yeah. And you're hearing different you have things. To, yeah, you, you know. And it was just like, and that's where the conversation went. So it's, hey, man, so actually, it's just so crazy. We'll see. Just to make it on the other side of the year is like a big it's a blessing. Ass blessing. It's a blessing, man, bro. These days, like, just to wake up, just to like make last it year, to the show. Man, so niggas dropped also not last year. Mm, that's what I'm it's saying. Crazy. We just started the year like this. With the Ricky Lasting. passing, yeah, yeah, and that was in Feb also, and this now we're losing Ken, Ken in, in Feb, Feb and these are like icons of the game, and that's mad, that's like just staples. mad, yeah, that's Honest mad things. business. Like where are we at? Was we just at a, yeah, we are just at a point where we just have to like be very grateful. That's crazy, and it's also just like a, like a wake up call, like yo, like. Literally, get get right. Right. Yeah, yeah, get, get right. right. Be good to your people. But time, they move them time down. You know what I mean? It's one of those things now. It's like, that had to happen in order for Abandu to like really be like, okay. To really wake up to You know what I mean? Just, you know, if you if you really want to say something, if you really feel something, want to do something, might as well do it. Like, get straight to it. Don't play with it. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah rest in peace to the gold. But happy, so... Man. Your your inter your what was this? Anti sanity, inter social. <laughs> 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 your anti social level, mm. Let's talk about that. Like <clears throat> you to me come across as somebody who has more to him than people think, than people see. You don't seem like a nigga that's letting it all out. Yeah. Like I mean, you on the ninja movement. <laughs> like you will read the room type sneak around type nigga to just read everybody, learn everybody and just yeah. give them a piece of whatever, you know, they need at that moment and for sure. For sure. I feel I like I feel like I felt like that's normal, you know. It's just it's different to hear from other people to be like, that's not like I'll turn you chair no my or you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. just like, <laughs> you know, socialize or whatever. When you turn the jokes, I look up and cool my nose, cool my nose, and whatever. Mm. You know, I think I get a lot of that from from like my older brother, Ufiga. Yeah, he's ten years older than me, and like we grew up like very, I wouldn't say rough. B B. <laughs> <laughs> Put Bring it down. The no more beggar la. No more beggar la. What are you saying? Yeah, I was Sorry. saying like. Yeah, we grew up, like, in a way where, like, you have to be, like, humble in, like, every situation. Yeah. Like, yeah, Zuguti, you don't have that much, you know what I mean? And he's older than me, so he dealt with that for a longer time than me, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Very mean, I was privileged enough to, like, go to, you know, get a scholarship to, like, the high school I went to and stuff like that. So I got to see, like other parts of Impilo, you, you know? You got the scholarship way? What was the yeah, scholarship? The academic way. For Shout real? Yeah, yeah. You was getting <laughs> in like that. I was yes. a book out, dog. I yes, was a bookworm, fire. dog. I was a bookworm. So... You just came up like that from a youngin? Mm, so, me and I, like, I was... I didn't know, like, it's Zulu until, like, grade three. I mean, it's Gacy until, like, oh. grade three. So, like, I just used to speak... My it's Zulu the whole it's time. Zulu. And full then, time. Yeah, full time. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to Bonjour, where are you from? Uh Durban. Where in Durban? Sydney. It's like a coloured area. Yeah. Yeah. So I went to Ripon Primary, which is also a coloured area and they speak like English, mm. obviously in that accent. Um mm. and yeah, like to learn that I had to like do a lot because it took like a long time for me to grasp it, you know. Yeah. So being full in um I was in the library a lot. Um, to a point where I started like enjoying it, you know what I mean. So when I got to when I got to high school with the with the scholarship, 
I was just like into like poetry and just like English. What I used made to... you turn to books though as a kid? With... I was like, Jay, Jay, like just reading, like you just read a lot. But me. how do you choose reading out of every, like as a kid, <laughs> out of everything you could choose, you could choose to like your friends, yeah. you could choose to go play. I played, like, I played soccer action and stuff. Figures. But then, yeah, just the way like Uma wanted me to like actually learn this thing and like be fluent at it. Mm. I was always in the library. If it's not the school library, so it's coming from the moms? Like the public library. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, the <laughs> yeah, the moms is not playing academic. So yeah, bro. If I'm not in the school library, I'm in the public library. I'm getting a few books. I'm reading and stuff like that. When I'm bored, I'm reading, and then all the way through high school. No primary school. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then that's how I got to the like, scholarship the to the high school. Yeah. And then I got into poetry. I got into just writing in general. Um and yeah, that's how like the music came about. Yeah. Um and yeah, I guess that's also like plays a part in like just the the whole idea of being antisocial. The antisocial. And stuff like that. Yeah. Um but yeah, Doug, I did have friends. I still, you know, yeah. Chill yeah, out. it's not like you don't it's not like you don't have a personality. Yeah. Cause you do. So that's another thing for me. It's like that's a it's a strange mix, like when I try and figure you out. It's mm. like cause when you're in the siege and it's that time, you deliver on the personality. <laughs> you are alive in the room. Yeah, you good. know how to make it work. It's not like you're awkward, but it's not something you just... Mm. You don't look like someone who's looking forward to it. Nah. <laughs> Definitely not. It's I'm not, not looking really forward your... to the class. I'm not looking forward mm. to all of that. I just want to be like Nama and Bam and stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, bro, like, I don't, I don't think it's Even like... Even out here, thing. I think that's what kind of keeps you always in the stool because yeah? <laughs> <laughs> he's just not gonna go out there yeah, and yeah. just go kinky with niggas because mm. me and and Leo like had a lot of conversations like coming up about like how it's gonna be you know yeah. and like in those conversations we never really spoke about like yo I you know we're gonna party you know what I'm saying <laughs> just gonna pop bottles yeah <laughs> Every conversation we had was like, yo, we're going to make so many songs. You're going to be so crazy at music. Yes. Because like, yeah. at the time, we are like, yo, you're getting so much better at this thing. Mm. And like, I wonder how it's going to be like, you know what I'm saying? Once, yeah. once you have like the, the resources to do all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, when you have the full vision. Yeah, so that's all we were excited about. Like, yo, I find in Gomez, I boy, all beats of us. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> Yeah, hell you know, yeah. so I feel like yeah, you're yeah, a real also, music nigga. Yeah. You're not really like a fame lover. Mm, so even like, when did you start handling, um, like like me, actual me. recording? Oh, I re- I, st- I recorded like my first song. I was in like grade, like two. So I was like six or seven. That's crazy. That's a privilege. <laughs> like <laughs> that's a privilege, but yeah. to start at that time, I was that's... like super young. Dog. And my neighbor, <clears throat> shout out to Alex Khan, um, he had Fruity Loops. And yo, we used to record. having neighbors that have fruity loops is wild. It's mad, bro. I don't even know how he got into it. Maybe I need to mm. hear his story. But like, yeah, Doug, we used to listen to um Squad Six, which is like a a group from from where I'm from. They're mm. like very prominent, you know. what I'm saying in Sydney, they rap, you know. what I'm saying that the hood a lot. Yeah. You know, so I'm a kind of DJ better to buy. Yeah, we, we were listening. Much, that should be. Yeah, <laughs> should be some fun. So I used to listen to them like, yo, these guys are dope. Yeah. So when I first got onto mic, I was I was rapping about stuff I didn't even know. I was just rapping about what they rapping. Rapping about. like them niggas. Yeah, I just, yeah, were they like Cape Colors? Because I also grew up, and this is what I mean by Cape Colors. Like, it was, I'm a kind of Afana everywhere. Like, I don't think the I'll culture. I will find it. The culture. I will find it. I will find it. So. Because that's what I was going to ask. Were they like... Because for... So where I stayed, Efeli, in Newcastle, there was like... an There's an area called Efeli. Mm. And it's like a colored area. And in the corner, Guagna, my flats. And it's like the <laughs> same... My flats. My flats are a thing, dog. But yeah. like... Nah, dog. I feel like so they different. So my in your area were not like that? They different, bro. So I, I realized that when I first went to Cape Town, like when I met the colors there, like they, uh, there are s- similarities... But it's like, I'm a funny, bro. Even the way they speak is different. The different Did you go to the, the hood though in Cape Town? Uh, I mean, I know people from there. Yeah, yeah. You know, obviously through 
um, just like being around it for a long time, you get yeah, bored yeah. and you're like, Yo. oh yeah, because you've got relations with Cash CBT yeah, also. Yeah, yeah, sure you've cash, spent some so time laugh. out there. Yeah, but I don't think I've been inside, inside. Mm-hmm. Like I just know people that come out and be like, "Yo, this is how it is." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get the word. <laughs> this is what it's like. Yeah. So yeah. like, Gabriel's offense maybe cool. I'm good tonight. Like I, I find later like, you know, mm. there's a difference between Ikala and Ikule in in Durban. Yeah. You know, they more they yeah. have they have the more like like more Indian influence. Yeah, Indian hell Indian. yeah, hell yeah. In Cape Town is just fully Kali. There's no other. Yeah, stuff that's, they grab that's from. true. You that's true. I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, because it's the colors and the white folk and the closer that's people. It. And in not... Durban, it's that, and then they also take from the Zulus also. Yeah, so they, like I was about to say they have the black Zulu. also. Like even For the sure. Indians, like the Indians yeah. also have a very <laughs> black demeanor out there. Yeah, so it's different. It's so different. were you rapping like a colored nigga? Yeah, I have yeah. I have a few songs, but they didn't come out. Like like mm. on SoundCloud or any of like the bigger platforms, but I had a lot of like ra- when I was rapping before, like I had like a strong colored accent. Even yeah. like my accent, like just even when you chop in it, yeah, I've yeah. noticed that you have that. <laughs> but also a lot of like Durban niggas yeah. like that shit. Yeah. When they when they flip to the English, it's mm. it usually comes with a colored accent. Yeah, that's crazy. So when did when do you start dropping music? Like. Because that's also early. You're already talking about mm. SoundCloud. This is what? In high school? Yeah, SoundCloud in high school. So I was... You niggas already putting shit I out. I was already putting stuff out there. <laughs> that's so crazy. I can go back. There's like a lot of songs that like... That's crazy. In like, let's say 2018 is when I started really like listening to, to stuff on SoundCloud. 2019. So back then it was J. Marley, Patrick, um, yeah, yeah. Fatty Boy Jim. Oh, era. you were on them niggas. Yeah, I was... Yo. Those are the guys back then, Doug. Yeah. Those are like the Yeah, guys. and they were. They were, they were running that <laughs> shit. Sure. So, since I was like a lot into like reading and poetry, like my first song that, that went on SoundCloud was like a very, like boom bap sort of. Yeah, vibe. yeah. Very boom bap. Well, on and the song. On the, yeah, Kaza. Rapper cool. Kaza, man. Want to be rapper cool, man. So, yeah. It dropped on the, on the school account. So the school made a SoundCloud account for like stuff like that. <laughs> and I was like the first guy. I was that's like the, crazy. What you call it? The scapegoat or whatever yeah. you call the first guy. Mm. I did the that. guinea pig. The guinea pig. Mm. What's a scapegoat? I don't know. The, the scapegoat pig. is the excuse <laughs> to get away. <laughs> <laughs> I was the guinea pig. I was the tester. So then mm. we did it. It went crazy, you know, in the school or in yeah, other yeah. schools or whatever, because they're like, hey, there's this guy's rapping. So you the rapper guy already? Yeah, I was the rapper guy already, the poetry Already guy. Blackie? Uh, I was Blackie Chan at the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've heard you say that. So you, I was Blackie Chan at the, the time. Because of the eyes? No, because of like a bar I did when I was in primary school where I was rapping. Yeah. I was like kicking bars like Blackie Chan, whatever. It didn't yeah. make sense at the time, but... The name sort it's of stuff. It's a barish, you it's know. It's, it's a little kid bar, <laughs> For bro. For a kid, yeah. Small, he he was boy. spitting. <laughs> <laughs> the kid was spitting. So I was playing like, yeah. for a long time. Mm. And then I was like, yo, I just drop my own music now, you know. Uh, I was listening to a lot of X, a lot of Ski Mask, that sort of thing, trippy. Mm. And I was like, okay, this thing the is not... The real internet yeah. way. So I was like, it's not that hard, bro. I see these guys. But I rap on SoundCloud and they get to do shows. Like, they don't go through SoundCloud, then they Apple, Billboard, then shows. It's more like, mm. like straight it's up It's more SoundCloud. of a direct. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, yo, the, this thing is it's not oh, that Also, that explains the approach when you niggas came yeah, in. Because you niggas <laughs> really had absolutely no intention yeah. to appease the mainstream on any level. For you sure. niggas, should if they were trying to just do straight your up. handle and, and then, then go see go straight, your people. Straight to the stage. Because it's like, when you make Ingoma... That that's dope, and there's a lot of people listening to it. You sort of realize, like, see, you don't really need like radio or TV that much anymore because mm. there's already like a thousand people that stream the song. So out of those thousand people, obviously, Bon can get a figure with shows so figure about about hundred fifty, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. something like that. But then it's real people, bro. It's real. Yeah, it's connection. the niggas that actually fuck with you. you yeah, know what I mean, so so they, the show's so, gonna rock out. Yeah, so they were able to do like those cool <laughs> things where it's like all oh, these cool kids mm. are on on SoundCloud. So obviously, you know, they're gonna know these songs. They do those small shows. You know, all these people listen to mm. us, so it's obviously going to be at least 200s, 300s, yeah. you know what I mean? And Unesti, and are you, are you niggas looking up to him for on sure. any level? Because he sure. also had kind of started moving that way. I remember mm. with his first album when he did the college tour. 
Yeah. I don't I don't remember who had done that before him, but I think he sort of popular popularized, yeah, popularized that it, thing. Yeah. Cause also he was moving with uh Junior and them and they were doing like yeah. the whole um university thing, especially yeah. for the Iverson. So they yeah. were doing like a lot of activations. And at the same time he was dropping songs on SoundCloud with like Teleman and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was really connected. So he's one mean. of them also, yeah, man. For, sure. for your like, for we, niggas coming in. Super, super, super That's fine. I used to look up to him a lot, bro, and just yeah, just the stuff he was doing at the time was what we wanted to do. And we were doing it, but on like a small scale. On a smaller you know scale. I mean? And you niggas had a crew yeah. in Durban. Yeah, yeah. shout out to so, internet. It's actually Voltron's birthday. Happy birthday, Voltron. You're going to see this later, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, Voltron. <laughs> who who you also name when you name the mommies that, uh, well, the niggas that the mommy was saying she knows from your squad on Big Time Slab. I think you named oh, Voltron. Oh, yes, yeah, that's all of them. So, yeah. Little Leo, obviously yeah. Leo. Voltron's yeah, Leo song okay. Brawley, yeah, Alan. Um, yeah, that's that's all of us. So it's I named them and then it's me. Yeah. I mean? So it's like six of us, five of us sort of switches in between because the one guy's in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Still right now? <laughs> the one, no, you just finished now. Yeah. Shoddy. So yeah, you're ready now. You can pull up and do the <laughs> come and, you can come and fight now. <laughs> come and fight now. Cause like we went cause ish dog. Us in high school we we tried to do the most, you know what I mean? We tried to sort this past see variety. At least in universities when you're like, okay, let's focus on the music, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Voltron is, was one of the first guys to actually graduate in the crew. He did photography. He mm. got a degree in that, I think. Um he's the only one actually. All of us sort of like Neil's just <laughs> Neil's just like, wrapped it up. Let's, <laughs> let's move. So it Uche, be like that. Uche and Shadi also were like that. We can't let you be coming here to Jersey and all that stuff. Still in still, high school, yeah. You still nah. have a strict regime. You have to wake mm. up number six, we school and you been the PE young killer and so it's like hey, Stay there. Finish that head. Finish move. that thing. Then maybe mm. after we can see. So now it's done. Mm. Yeah. And the first trip to Jersey is what? It's just a. Uh, you niggas are just coming to come figure it out. Conjo, what's in? What's all so far? I shared someone. What were you on? That's the that's the second time. That's when it worked out. The first time was I don't say it's a big failure, but it was like a. Ish. It didn't work out. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so. We came here to visit a guy named Tommy Gun. He stays in Madrid. Mm. So Tommy Gun is like also big on SoundCloud at the time. Like, I right, chap, you know, we just want to come make some music with you and also see Josie for, you know, what it is, what people say. You know what I mean? Mm. We gathered like a few, not a few, there's like two shows. So of those shows where it's like it's just a kid, SoundCloud era, yeah. little house party or whatever. Oh, okay. Like, yo, put cloud internet boys there, whatever. We'll figure yeah. it out when we get we'll there. We'll just fight. fits. Bang like about six, seven. Basin, see a goal. Basin, I'm on the ground. Ish. But some man, if it's. It's a cave. So, in Bambi, it's a cave. Elder's not in the cave. That's the vibe we're yeah. on. So I, feel like I to, so I hit up, so, okay, the Tommy Gun thing didn't really work out, um, because it was something about, like, he has to, he has to be somewhere else, and the day so we So Tommy Gun had to hold, the, hold you near us down with yeah, the crib. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, because he was, he was the only one that we knew that lived, like, alone, like, Arashal or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he was like, yo, I know you guys are here, but just give me, like, a day. <laughs> to like sort out what's when going on. Nah, because Crossang, he was actually he was actually the realist. Like he, he yeah. pulled up, but then after that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I had tried to hit up some other guy, and that guy like flopped on me. Yeah. Talking about I'm asking him, I'm a police or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but I was, I don't want to even give him the credit or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. like one last and you know I'm cheating. And yeah. then we had to share um Backpackers, bro. That's backpackers. Yeah, I've I know when back, niggas backpack in yeah, other yeah, in yeah, other yeah. countries. So yeah, we shy to search. Where's, where's the nearest? You found a, a little. There's a place called Sleek. I think it's in Randburg or something like that. Yeah. 
I shout it to sneaky bitches. Whose idea was that? <laughs> Dog, it's like, <laughs> when, would... you, when you're looking for a place to stay at now for like a night or whatever, they're obviously going to give you like hotels and stuff. And then when it's a fire range, I could go to eight, yeah, you mean, I'm going to go to the And they're like, oh, then just shout it. Then, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about six, seven, up. So I shout it to sleek. It's like this place, small little spot in the pool, and man, if it's shang on my bank beds, we had stuff like that. And then, I'm going to pull it down. 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 But the shy is home, and I'm going to pull it down. Shy cloud chasing, and man, and you're going to pull it down. I know. <laughs> 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 so you live it enough. Duh, so you shared that backpack is and then um Tommy was like, Oh wait, I'm ready, you guys can pull up. So we went to Tommy's place, we set up studio there, then we made like a few songs. But that sort of restricted us because he lives in like an estate, so we couldn't really like go out. We couldn't, couldn't bang really, out. Yeah, we couldn't like do a lot. You know what I mean? So mm. that, that trip was like just for that. But no it's okay. The logistics of this whole thing. Oh, it's, it's, really, it's, not, it's not for this gang that we're doing, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's not for the kids. It's not for the for the gang gang way. So we we went to the last show we went to was like this um I think it was Heineken when they had Post Malone. Was it Castle Light? I don't know. It should be Castle Light. Yeah, Lights. when they had Post Malone at the at the dome. Um so we went there. It's crazy. That's where we met Ox again, you know, because he's from Durban, obviously. Mm. And then we met him there, and he's like, oh, God, you guys are here. Dog. You guys should do this and this and this. That was actually the first time I met Willie also from Champagne 69. Yeah, yeah. And I he says he knows the boys. I was like, oh, it's dope, dog. So, oh, so he, know, he knew y'all from the yeah, Nets. Yeah, from the Nets. So that like, dog. And he's like, ah, dog, I can't really help you guys right now. It's Bangaga. It's funny thing, Jay. And you know what I mean? And they'd be like, ah, <laughs> Yeah, they, the six niggas is Duh, crazy. It's like, you, I ain't gay, get fine. It's like, hey, ish, I'm not in Zanja, or whatever. So it's just like, ish. Then we all sort of left, like, one by one, you know what I mean? Yeah. Special shout out to Unda. If Unda ever watches this, shout out to him, because he held us down a lot. Um, He had some cash um, from, I don't know where, but he was able to, like, hold us down in terms of, like, Ooh, that different Ubers we had to take Ubers seven hundreds, nine hundreds just uh, to get to these places. Cause shout like, out to him. You always need a nigga that, like that. You need the one guy yeah. that's gonna <laughs> who's really gonna do it for the niggas. Man. So like, so shout out to David. So, mm. so yeah, we were able to stay here for a week, maybe a week and a bit, mm. and then yeah, we went back to went back to to Durban and we carried on with whatever we were doing. So me and Leo at the time we were like, yo. We need to go back, dog. There's no way. <laughs> you felt we did all that. Nah. And it's like, so every day we used to speak about it. Like, yo, let's just go back, link with people. You know what I mean? We knew a guy named Fetish, who was, Fetish K, who was close to Lucas Raps. Mm. So, like, if we talk to Fetish and say you want to go to Lucas Raps, it's going to work, dog, because that's his friend. And, mm. you know, they're <laughs> all tied, whatever. Mm. Then, fortunately enough, <clears throat> we're able to meet Lucas Raps at Fetish K's crib. Mm. Some classes, like, to yeah. corner, like, uh, we actually forced it. It was me, Leo, and, and Shizzy. Yeah. And we saw Lucas' status. We're like, ah, we know this house. This Number one, who's this? Shaf, it's the Opa. So I figured I'm paying on my two pack. Say, finish me, yeah. I come inside the pose. You want to see what's <laughs> You want to see. You see what's happening inside, yeah. When we went inside, some water face to Lucas. I'm like, oh, we're dope. Mm. That's when I met Lucas for the first time. And you niggas are fans of him. Yeah. yeah. Big, big, big time, dog. Mm. Big time. So we made a few songs with him. <clears throat> we just came back from Jersey a few weeks ago. It's rough. I know you. You stay there. So can you just... You know oh, Nimfika I mean? out there. At, in, in the Durban. Durban. Yeah. yeah. So when you go back, I'm going to hit you up. Do the right thing. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want <laughs> Clean. So, yeah, on the way... Um, to Josie because like we used to speak about it a lot and we're like okay let's take the bus now we ready so see so plan it so see plan we can do it now so we pulled up I pulled up with Leo uh, so I feel I went to Park Station and it's like yo and it's like <laughs> it's that tough it's, you know? uh-huh. it's like the AMs so now we're hitting up everybody we used to hit up yeah, yo we had Park Station dog we need it 
It's just two of us though. Yeah. Now. You know what I mean? It's a better deal. It's just two of us now. We need it. Mm. So the first person that sort of helped us out was um, Sally. 808 Sally. Shout out to him. Mm. He actually pulled up to Park Station. What's Landa with you, Wang? And then we went to, to his place to stay there for a bit. This is before the thing, man. This is before I did the whole lockdown thing. So, yeah, we were there for a bit. Um, we stayed there. What? We stayed at Yuang's place for Cotton Fest. Yes. I went to Cotton Fest with, with Leon. This 2020? Yeah. Ne? Right? 2019. 2019. 2019. When was the first was Cotton Fest? 2019 was the first one? 2018 was the first one. Mm, that was the second one. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's cried on stage. So <laughs> <laughs> Why you didn't cool, man? <laughs> I'm cool, I mean, that's the way you remember it. Oh, that's the, that's the memory it. of yeah. the thing. This yeah. is cry, that's it. <laughs> yeah, um, that was that was a fire uh that's a moment. fest. That was a fire fest. Mm. That that fest. That was the first one, yeah? The that was, one. yeah. Yeah. Then the the Reese crying one. Yeah. Then twenty nineteen is when we pulled up Fiji Carries at Cotton Fest, I went dope. You wang let us stay at his crib like for a bit after, like a like a week and a few like two weeks actually. Mm. And then yeah, I just became tough because obviously it's too Bruce thing here. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't plan yeah. it really. You know, but then that was like the best um like trip because like we were able to meet a few oh, people. Oh, you need us ended up going back again after that. Yeah, trip. that was the that was the second time. That's the second but trip. that's just me and Leo. Yeah. So Yuang used to go to these studio sessions, some Benaye. He even took me to Africori offices for the first time, La Pana, and I spoke to the guys there. Yeah, I was like, like just ah. grinding it out. Yeah, that we're moving. Figuring like, it ah, out. I actually went to these offices, I know. Something something might happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Shop. Then we went back to, to Durban. Then for lockdown, I think I came back alone. Eh? For mm. lockdown, I came back alone to come visit Sally. Mm. But it wasn't lockdown at the time. They were just... They just paused like the academic thing, just cause there was the pending doom of, <laughs> of, of the yeah. of the pandemic. They're still gonna announce. They're like, actually, let's just hold on with academics. So I was like, man, I'm full in the line of it. So let me just go to to Josie and try and make some music or whatever. And I figure, go for like whole country yeah. closed. But why did you go up? Going up, and I was like, oh, shop away. <laughs> Shop. Was it by any means? Yeah, so we were staying at 808 Sally's house, me, Yuang, Saruno, um, and obviously Sally, and we we're just yeah. making music the whole time, dropping on SoundCloud every day. Um, How do you end up at M4? So, after that whole lockdown shenanigan, after all those songs, mm. I had like a name for myself on SoundCloud in Josie. Mm. Oh, you know so you I mean? put out some joints, niggas mm. are fucking with you, yeah, they're hearing like, it. Clean. So I went back home. Is no. Lucas on those joints yeah, also? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned, you guys I learned, now are... Yeah. So, with the visuals and everything? No, those, oh, that's those before ones, the visuals. That's before the visuals. <clears throat> so after, SoundCloud. Yeah, so after the whole mm. SoundCloud, everything, I went back home and I told my... So at the time, I was getting like money from features, mm. but I wasn't spending it because, you know, it's locked down. Niggas are already anywhere. souping you for the feature yeah, at that stage of the game. Yeah, low, low two, <laughs> low five. Yeah, I'm saying, low Just to give niggas a little Just sound. to survive, yeah. Yeah. For the SoundCloud features, yeah. and then got fair car with all the, with all that cash, and I and I gave it all to to, to the moms. Gave, this is what I'm doing. This is the money I made. It's the most I've made in a bit. You mm. know, doing anything in particular. So yeah, in general, just in that. So I was like, yeah, this is what I want to do. And she was like, I, you know, Valley school is online now, so you can do it online. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. online, online, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We should have recorded online. Yeah, online, but I can get. And I went back. So when I'm coming back this time, back to Sally's place, um, now I'm with Leo again, because he mm. saw what I was doing and some kind of stuff. He's like, yo. And he heard about the yeah, money yeah, also that you is, came back with. <laughs> <laughs> so we went, but then it started off rough again, because mm. obviously... It's two niggas it's again. It's two niggas again. <laughs> so now, staying at these, like, not weird. I don't want to say weird, because those guys were super dope for letting us stay at their places yeah. and stuff. But it was just weird because it's like it's different brews. Like I'm at like gym brews, you know what I mean? It's just lot of pants, you got bandas, show pants, and I was in my kind with like popcorn spice. Yo, dog, we're moving crazy. Yeah, like, yeah, she's in. Like, like it was rough. Like, it was getting bad. Like, 
<laughs> yeah. So it's so angry to know from Derby. Mm. So like, so the first time we got here, it was like super, super cold. Yeah, bro. Yeah. And we weren't used to it. Oh, so yeah, the only way... Derby like Bandy. Yeah. So the only way... Oh, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to shoot side. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to that was the only way we got through. Oh, two liters, I'm about three, four on the bed. More Gonji, on which side is this? Where were you guys staying? We were staying in the west. Yeah, it got banned, and I say, well, yeah, yeah. Because I remember we were kind of doing the same thing here in mid, here in Midrand. Mm. You know, with like the by, water. by the court saying, ah, but yeah, with the water. <laughs> <laughs> Should I boil the vegetables? We throw it in the two liter. Suddenly, I ain't going to That was bad, dog. If I could show you pictures of us back then, even, but. Exactly, the fit so I'm born a little tired now. Ashes, the fights, mm. ashes, I'm a ass. But at the same time, we're dropping music, like we drop crazy songs. Yeah, so you're having a good time, at the same yeah. Time. Like, musically, it's like dope, mm. you know what I'm saying? The, the, the streams are going crazy. It's like, yo, Leo and Blackie, yeah. yo, it's going mad, dope. So then Sally was like, okay, I can't do this anymore, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, so you guys seen the man, so you seen that. So we hit up another guy called Ben Sato Sisley, um, Hollywood. So he was like, yo. Put up to my place. You know, not don't back a good. Mm. So that was weird for us. Yeah, Valley, and he's like cool with it, but yeah, it's like it's but dark. don't back it is pressure. Yeah, so it's like we stayed there for, for how many for how many days? Like maybe four, three mm. days before Pepper actually hit me up. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yo, you guys, you know, let me pull up and come fetch you guys from wherever you are to have a session. Mm. Yeah. Actually, at this and Lucas house. was already living here. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was living yeah. here. This is like the M four, the M four crib, yeah, yeah, yeah. basically. Yes. Um, for the artist. So <clears throat> yeah, Pepper. So Pepper is fetching you because he's trying to do a joint. This is because he's ca- he's catching you on SoundCloud or is he getting it from I Lucas? Think so he's, I think you he's the getting boy. it from Lucas. I think he's getting mm. it from Lucas. So. Lucas yeah. is saying, okay, now Black is the boy. Yeah, bring him it's out. actually right here. He's in Centurion. You need to go get him. And I go. He's like, oh, sharp. So he pulled up in the in the page. Mm. The two door, yeah, yeah. Snake quiet, my team is about two already. So yeah. already it's about four. Need that kid. Ah, already. So we just jumped in the back, we pulled up here, went to this house, and the first song I did with Lucas was like a crazy remix of like a Kendrick song, mm. and we were just really rapping, like rap, 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 rap. Yeah. So side cut the layer and and then obviously I did the pepper song. I think the pepper song had Fox on it actually. Which song is this? It's called Different. It has like a orange yellow artwork. I remember you anyway, and you see it in my face. And I got everything. I think I, I don't know if I know that joint. <laughs> I think I know the the first joint I heard you on was that, um, what is it? Was it Bambelela said she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bambelela And I think so. Fox was on that. Yeah. yeah. Was he? Yeah, I think he was. I heard it with the Fox verse before it came out. Oh, then the uh, Pepper should yeah. be cutting again. Pepper, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper well, did Pepper the ended up say, really, yeah. Yeah. out. But yeah, we did a song called Different. We subbed him for the Fokker, actually, for yeah. the Fokker verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Fokker's actually one of the first yeah. guys to come. I was like, who's this, this nigga? When I heard <laughs> you, I was like, yo, this nigga's kind of going crazy on this end. Dude. Yeah, so, at the crib, man, I mean, I know Leo, we're staying here. Unannounced, no one knows you're staying here. Like the people that actually own the house, oh Nandi and everyone else that's sort of involved in mm. this whole EM4. Thing. Yeah, EM4, I asked me to put on my outside too. I said, I'm outside of the happy, I'm dropping on my pep. So Lucas actually had to fight um, Nandi and Pepper in yeah. terms of just like, yo, dog, this is the guy. You know around, I mean? yeah. This is the guy. Speaking about me, yeah. you know what I mean, and and this guy is with that guy, so mm. and they need to stay here yeah. in order for this thing to work. Because at the time, Lucas was also try, trying to transition into a more like musical, you know, sort of space, yeah. and you could see that I was like, you know, singing a lot also. So it's like, yeah, also, you know, songs yeah, yeah. for that album and stuff like that. And I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Bro. That duo is making sense too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm. yeah, we ended up forcing it, but. Um, sort of happened that Leo had to go back to Durban, mm. um, just because you know what I mean. It's, it's just a big load, you know. What I mean? At the time, yeah, yeah, it got so, heavy, and you had to mm. sacrifice Leo. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. actually, yeah, Fox will tell you. I hit him up. Actually, I was like, Yo, Fox, I heard man, about it. Leo has to go. So I don't know. Must <laughs> come there to you. Oh, it's a ass. <laughs> What's what are you gonna do? And I hit him, Kiri, also, whatever, whatever. And it was tight. And I was like, Ish. I was actually about to go to Gary's place, which is like the ambitious place. 
funny mm. enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the day after, Nandi pulled up and I was like, actually, no, you can stay here. If you go there, you're going to be making a mistake. So you might as yeah. well stay here and figure yourself out. Mm. And then a few weeks later... But Leo can't stay. Yeah, I know. Leo had to... Leo had to go. Leo had to buy, yeah. Damn, Leo. <laughs> 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 we hate it. had to be you. Sort of... So a few days later, we did big time. And then a few weeks later... Big time is the first joint I'll put yeah, out and get like some serious some traction off yeah. of. A few weeks later, Tando, Papers Friday came and we shot the video. And then that's when everything sort of started. He shot the big time slap? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he killed that. That's fine. So Paper uses connects from that. Uh, I forgot that shop. Have you watched the video? That car shop where they do like customs and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paper uses connects there. We got some cars. And then, yeah, that's when everything sort of like picked up. Yeah, and that's how I ended up. Cause here. big time, yeah, big time slap, but then then we all get introduced to Blackie as as a country. It's yeah. like okay, then for starts, sure, cause now you put in the face to the to the yeah, now it's like oh, okay, yeah, and even on a mainstream level, then you start bubbling up, cause mm. also then it's like fully locked down for sure. So cause also Lucas was also <coughs> like fully in the mainstream at the time, cause yeah, of what yeah. it is and whatever. So everyone is already watching. Yeah, him. yeah, 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 yeah. He so. had his shit going on. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So his cosign for you was was massive. Was that was crucial. The, that was the first one and the biggest one actually. Is this gonna be my job here? <laughs> is this it has to be. <laughs> and yeah. So he he holds you down. You niggas do big time slapper. Conje, what you niggas shot a couple other handles. Before mm, yeah, so we uh, shot we shot big it. time, yeah. And then we shot ah uh, ah, uh, which is like something yeah we did in in Durban. Uh, Lucas had a show in Durban, and we shot the video there. And then yeah, Dance was after. So Dance, I I had already gained like a few yeah some traction yeah yeah, yeah I was already like inside in a way. Mm. But Dance sort of catapulted it because that's when like you sort of that's when the, it became mainstream. Yeah, the duality and the versatility <coughs> is like okay. Mm. You know what I mean? This also, Dance popped on like a. It popped. Yeah. yeah it yeah. wasn't just an internet handle. Yeah, so it wasn't just like, it just was cause it's the video. fire outside. Mm. Like, <laughs> when it comes on, yeah, it's, it's going, going down. down. <laughs> yeah, it's a party. Like So, yeah, it was, so we didn't really submit it, but mm. radios were playing. But it, it moved, yeah. We didn't really submit the video, but, you know, TV was playing it and stuff. Um, and it was Pepper Song also, so when he does a show, he's yeah. really playing the song. So it was like... It became a thing, like that's it became like a real big thing for all of yeah, us actually did. on the song. For me, script was on it, cello. Yeah, it put art. script on. Mm, for sure. I um, don't know if it did as much for everybody else on the joint. I mean Ox is on it. Ox cable is from Minister Funk, so he Yeah, really he was it. already we already know <laughs> we already know what he's about. When we saw him on that, it was yeah. like, Yeah, fire that is on it. But I think you shined on the joint mm. and I think it gave script a voice. For sure. For him to be able to do. But I think it more so just showed that, okay, this black That's guy possible. is, yeah. <laughs> he's got some maker. swagger. Yeah, like he's, he's the hits. guy. Yeah. So at that stage of the game, are you niggas already locked it in as far as, okay, now you're an M4 nigga? Um, and, or are you guys still just having fun? Yeah, at that time, we're still, we're still having fun. Um in terms of like signing and stuff, because it's a management deal. I don't know if Lucas yeah. signed or Pep. Like we don't really talk about yeah. the business side of things because we're not really. Mm. I don't want to know what you're making. You, don't, I yeah, don't want yeah, you yeah. to know what I'm <laughs> making. So just keep it there. Let's yeah. have fun and make music, you know. Yeah. Um. But then when I told Nandi that I want to drop an album, mm. then she was like, "Actually, if you want to do it the right way and you want to get the right support and playlisting and stuff, just mm. you know, shout it, it and for the management way, mm. and it's gonna be cool." I wish shout. So when you made the album, <clears throat> did you decide to make the album before making it or did you have the music and then say, let me put this together as an album? <laughs> so half of the songs were already made in 2020. That's, I, was, I can, I can kind of hear that. So <laughs> you weren't like saying... Yeah. But the way you put it together though is mm. so well. Like you yeah, created what, the album really That's what well. it's called uh, Before Now. Mm. Because it's like a lot of the songs are like stuff I was feeling, you know, before 
now now being big time slapper and that's it yeah um what else did i do i did like a rouge feature also mm. you know so like the like i was sort of you popping now you know yeah I mean? you're the new kid mm. so yeah. it's like it's time to make you listen to what i'm trying to do yeah and also you know stuff that you probably haven't heard because you Mm. focused on what made you feel it. like you were ready for an album at that time or you a nigga that's not really thinking too much yeah about it. like even the even the the compilation of it was just like i wasn't like focused on like telling a story through and through like <laughs> yeah. there was there's no interludes or like crazy transitions or what yeah. it's just a bunch <laughs> of songs but mm. they do like you know tell you they where, hold it where down, i come yeah. from you know what i mean um and yeah like i don't really I don't have like a serious attachment to songs, mm. you know. I do. It love, feels that way. I do love my songs. Like they're all dope. I know all my songs. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. But it's not like man, you. There's, there's twelve songs and they sound like they could belong in an album, but I'm not gonna make it an album because. Yo, it's not special enough or whatever. It's like, dog, yeah, man, should have been there, dog. So, <laughs> what must happen <laughs> now? <laughs> you know what I mean. You know, that's so like, fire to have that type of just come on, just rock. Cause yeah. you think that comes from the SoundCloud era for sure. Because for sure. like for the difference with us, you know, just to step in a little, the difference with us is we come from a more very rigid mm. time where it's like you putting this out as a single mm. and it has to be mainstream, it has it. to be a hit, it has to have a rollout and whatever. So it's like. Just the level of mm. overthinking for our generation's uh, just approach to mm. putting anything out and to hear what's when uh, you just and this that's person. and that album put you on like the debut for is sure. a fire debut mad, like it's bro. a it was mad. it's a it's a classic debut ne classic classic yeah, debut yeah. you up I, I think for me when I look at the game because the the generation before you I think okay so our generation. I would say, okay, let me start from the generation above us. So these are all the generations, the way I see them. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, the way as, I see it also. As far, okay, so it's KO, Double H, Pro. They were the three crazy from up there, right? Mm. And then our generation was Forbes, Casper, Ricky, mm. Cuesta, as far as... Yeah, yeah, the, the top five. The leaders, yeah, yeah of that generation. Mm. And then the generation after that is Reese, Nasty, Nasty and MT. Yeah. That top three. For sure. And then you're like the, the next, next generation's one, yeah, one yeah. of them niggas. So who do you put up there with you? So it's you, uh, Lucas is there. Yeah. Yes? Obviously, McLaren, 25. McLaren. There's more people. Is is twenty five with y'all or with or nasty and them? When does he come in? Know. Actually, you know it's the thing, man. Twenty five. I didn't really like know him like that until yeah. like we started working together. So every time I mention his name, people are like, "No, dog, twenty five." He's kind of before since, since. Yeah. So yeah, maybe. But yeah, I'd put it's it's me, Lucas. McLeary. But if he's not though in the nasty realm then, then he has to come down to that's yours yeah that's yeah no you're there, right man. yeah so he fits there yeah you have more yeah. you Luki, maglera 25 d koala d koala wait but we have to talk leaders because there's even in the other oh, generations yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. respectfully respectfully i hear you, I hear you. I hear the you. leaders the people in front because in the other generations i also only counted the leaders there's mm. other i could have counted myself in our generation I hear you. Also, I hear you. Was also there <laughs> and you know I the list you. goes on but okay, it's like so if i if i after 25 i'd probably be costa because costa's doing crazy stuff right now Ooh, Costa's yours generation yeah. oh yeah that's crazy yeah. Foka, where does Foka land a weird one because Foka has to land with you, <laughs> but because you know what is a Yano Brur. He started off as a rapper back then, before yeah. even our era. So then, when it was our era, he was already doing piano, fully. But it's y'all's era, as far as his pop off, for sure. Yeah, it's yeah. y'all's era. That's what I'm saying. There's way more stars in our in y'all's era, man. Yeah. That's crazy. That's wait. So who's y'all's top three though? Ish. It's you. Who is as <laughs> staple as you at the top in your generation? Ish. Is Lucas still up there? He's, he's top three now. Nah, it's not top three. Ish. Respectfully. As a unanimous. Yeah, it's in the studio, Luki. It's not me. Respectfully. <laughs> 
because can we put Maclera there? I don't think we can because he just had a great year last year. But I don't think he's a staple up there. With because you've done what you've been on fire since twenty twenty. Mm. That's fair to say. Sure. Ne? So that's so you're one of them as far as this generation. <laughs> <laughs> so who's been up there with you well, that whole one. time? That's a hard one. That's Costa. There's nobody. Costa. When did Costa come in? No, it is Costa. It is. Yeah, cause I, cause, cause Costa, Costa, Costa tw- before before me even like 2019, 2018, years already. He was already inside, also. no? Yeah, Costa. Costa's fair. So that <laughs> means <laughs> that means the top three of yours. That's crazy. Is you Costa and Foca? Mm. That's crazy. Cause the other niggas are actually y'all no niggas, but that's y'all generation's <laughs> top three. That's. <laughs> That's crazy. How do we how do we deal with that? Yeah, because yeah. we can't also remove the niggas, because niggas are still hip hop artists inside. Mm. It's like when you do when Zagile and you and know Siga, your yeah. your handles. It's not like we remove you from the hip hop realm, even though you still predominantly rap. Mm. But a lot of those songs that you do when you branch off to the other side. Uh, some of the biggest chance, mm. you know, when you step out there on the shows and whatnot. For so sure. that's how I see it. Actually, that's how <coughs> that's how I measure the when you're saying like the top three or anyone like in the same realm. Yeah, it's the shows. That's what really tells exactly. you exactly. You know what I mean? And at the shows, it's me. That's why I put those phone. niggas because <laughs> it's like if we're gonna put it on stage, not yes, we can all have our opinions, say mm. this and yeah, that, lyrical ability but and whatever. if you put it on stage and say, okay, the niggas who can rock when it's when you put them on there from that generation is them niggas. Mm. It's actually crazy. That's crazy. Uh, okay, so I want to delve into your album, but let's touch on because <clears throat> now we just had to respectfully remove. Uh, Lu- Lucas on the on that thing, mm. this list that we just did, this quick little list that yeah, we it's just little. did. <laughs> oh, it's a draft, it's a draft. Yeah, it's just, it's a, draft. Draft. It's it's just draft. yeah, it's just a sketch. Uh, then there was questions between your relationship with him at some mm. stage of the game. How did Juniors manage that? Because I know how that goes. Like, you know, niggas, you, niggas co-sign niggas, and For then sure. niggas become their own niggas, <laughs> and then <laughs> it's like. Yeah. Things get tough sometimes. Yeah, bro. So it's actually deep, you know. But I'm not trying to like really like dive into it. Like I can give you like a quick Yeah, like scenario a scenario synopsis. Of of yeah, yeah. Mm. So yeah, big time slapper happens, the album happens. Mm. Within that whole shebang, like I'm running around, I'm doing launches, I'm doing interviews back and forth. And I'm you've doing, got Tasset now, so yeah, you're on fire so, also. On a different fire that he's on. So everything's going crazy. Mm. And I don't really, like, see Lucas as much anymore. We're not yeah. in the studio as much because now it's time to run around. We can't mm. be in the studio it's all time the time. It's time to be outside, yeah. You know? <coughs> Lucas it's no decide. longer locked down now. Yeah, it's, it's different <laughs> now. So mm. Lucas decides, yo, I'm going to go jump into an actual record deal. You know what I mean? Because the original was just a management deal. The same one I'm in right now. It's just... Mm-hmm. Management, um, yeah. distribution. That's when know. he moved out the crib. Yeah, so he moved out this house mm. and got the Def Jam Africa thing. Mm. And yeah, that whole thing Oh yeah, happened. he did the Def Jam way. No? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then he dropped the album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, bro, that's that's basically... Were you on the album, Raj? I his wasn't album? on the album. You weren't on his album. I wasn't on the album, mm. unfortunately. But I did have... I was on the deluxe. Yeah. Um, see it was still a bit hot when he was yeah, releasing was the little, album. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit tricky at the time. Yeah. Um, I mean, I can't, I can't tell you why. Not because like there's like yeah. a thing, but just I also don't know what what. Yeah, it just got. Mm. We've had a few conversations about it, but like there's no real. Exactly for real, see, like you know what I mean. Mm. That's why even like to this day, it's like. Still a little bit touch and go. Like we cool, we mm. link up with each other and stuff. But like it be like that in the game though, especially with niggas who put each other on. Like especially if you're not gonna be like if you nigga stayed a duo, I think he'd be fine. 
but because then you had to do your own thing. Mm. When a, when, when one when nigga's more on fire, then the, then the other things get weird. Because I think also fans make it weird. Because yeah, then fans start talking thing. shit like that. That was also another thing. Mm. Um, but yeah, I don't think the duo thing would have worked like, as like a solid... A forever you know, thing. Because he mm. already had his name. And it's like, if I'm... If we're a duo, then it's like, I'm like holding him back in a way. Because... Because that's how it felt at the time. Like, yeah, because I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't mainstream yet. I just had the album mm. as an underground artist and, you know, it sort of did its thing on Apple and did whatever. But at the time, it was just like, he's still coming up. It's the debut album. It's not like he's already established, you know? Mm. So if I, if we were a duo, it was just going to be like, it's Lucas Rhymes and then this album. Gondra, did he put his album out before you? No, he put it out in the same year, like like a, little, a few months after. So your album came first? Mm. Okay. Even though he was working on his one when I was when I first mm. pulled out. So you niggas had been apart while working on your albums? No, he was here when I was working on my that's why he's on That's why he's on your album. <laughs> so when did he make his when he had left? When he when he left. Like I I did know the songs, mm. you know, I knew what songs he was planning on putting on it. Um but yeah, when he left we sort of like lost connection and then mm. he, he probably recorded more stuff mm-hmm. and then he dropped it. Um but yeah, bro. I just feel like I just feel like it, it, it was more like that drop because that's his debut album. Yeah, and I feel like it was more of a retaliation or like a response to, to what your, was going on to your drop. Because in his mm. in his um situation, it was like I'm leaving this whole info thing and I'm doing this Def Jam thing. And whatever's going on in terms of management, who he's fighting with or whatever, mm-hmm. it's sort of... Because he was fighting when he left. It sort of put him in the <laughs> corner to put out that thing. And it's like, I don't think that's the right energy he to have a debut gone album. There with. Yeah, yeah. But it happened. Mm-hmm. And yeah, his album did the things, you know, mm. some songs out there went lit. Mm. But yeah, okay. I don't think that was the right energy for like a debut album. Mm. Okay, so let's talk about your album. Uh, your intro. The man was bad. Fana. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. song is like, I think that's like a a flagship Blackie song type of. Like, mm. I think that song and David is like, mm. those are like standout Blackie songs. If you want to introduce somebody to Blackie, you can just Play be those like, yeah, it's, it's this guy. It's actually crazy because a lot of people now don't, don't really know it because after that, I dropped like you know the formula yeah, for yeah, yeah. and then you whatever. Went, then and you went crazy with the R and B nigga, and you know. <laughs> you know, mm. so like a lot of people now, I don't think they. I ever guess Blackie went back. the rapper. Yeah, they mm. never really went back like that. So a lot of people don't know those songs, but yeah, for sure. Every time I do those songs, like I can feel good to know this is these are the real. Yeah, the those are, that the, are like yeah. singing it. Yeah. Now nah, for real, cause some well, some of us were there, so we experienced it. We know what it was like, and it was lit. Mm. What was so bad that you were crying about to the moms when you were making hey, that sh- joke? That was actually so. So shout out to damn, what's his name? Wave Ambient. The first version, I don't know if you, I dropped a, a video for Mama's Bad Two, which is basically Mama's Bad with drums. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Mama's that Bad, that was the initial. Yeah, that was the first. Yeah, one. that I was the original the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first time it was like that, but then I was like, yo. I need to I need to make it like I need to add more feeling to it because it's a pop, you know, as with the drums and it's like yeah, yeah. not really listening to what's going on. Mm. And at the time I had access to Christer, who's like super dope with like, yeah. you know, shout the piano Christa, and stuff yeah. like that. Shout out to him. Um shout out to Vogan <clears> also. And yeah, we stripped it down fully. Yeah. And then I was like, yo, this is And that was your call. You felt yeah, like we needed like, to yo, strip. Yo, I need it. That's I need a good it. call cuz yeah. It's fire, the stripped down <laughs> version of we the joint. We did a few actually stripped down joints, mm. but that one just like felt like super personal and it felt like that's how I want to I mm. start this album because um, if anyone knows me like from SoundCloud or wherever, they know that like she was a little yeah. bit tough, you yeah. know? So it's best to like start it off at the beginning, at the lowest level yeah. before we go into 
um, so that song whether you song, made it no during song. the grind of course because you were tough. crying on the song so yeah. it was, yo, it's, and I actually it's recorded it twice so that on the drums it's a different recording to oh, the, yeah I could tell actually when I heard the one with the drums because it's a different tempo mm. I was like oh it's actually two different recordings two different recordings so when you stripped it down you went back in I and back, recorded yeah, I sang mm. it again and mm. I was like yeah this is and it was connecting that's it's how I'm feeling it's connecting so. when it's stripped down mm. So the grind was the cry. When did you make it though? Did you so make it? I made it just here. Just, yeah, I made it here. Okay. So at the time, like I was speaking to my mom a lot, obviously, because she's white, so she calls a lot. Mm. Um, still, even just to you know see what's going on. You know, what's, you know, are there any challenges? Can I help you with anything? Yeah, yeah. And I don't like being like a burden. You know, I don't <laughs> yeah, like yeah. like saying yeah, as I a nigga. Hey, Lani, get man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to be that guy. So every yeah. time I tell her, every time she calls, I'm like, nah, it's nah, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. You can do that. Maybe I'll tell her a little because I don't want to make it seem mm. like everything's dandy. Maybe I'll tell her like, yo, got that I'm trying to, you know, it's a bit ding, ding, yeah. sink or something like that. And she'll yeah. be like, all right, so what's was saying? And I was like, yeah, so what's going to die, sharp, okay. yeah. whatever. So maybe they lies. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, bro. So that was like putting. Putting it on putting record. It, yeah, putting on record, like, and not making it dandy anymore. Like, just making it super It was actually, it's lit out here. here. And she probably doesn't even know that song, like, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, she's never gotten in there <laughs> she and She probably doesn't even bump it. But, like, that was yeah. that was me, like, like making sure that I can, that I, that I put out yeah. that energy. That onto, energy, onto yeah. Track, yeah. I remember I put that as a status on WhatsApp. It's like, why would you put this on a status <laughs> and not tell me? I'm like, no, nah, it's a blacky <laughs> song. It's a song, yeah. I'm like, no, nah, it's a song. Mm. It's not like that. She was like, hey, but why would you put it on a status, <laughs> man? You see, it's bad. Why don't you hit me up? Uh, David, staple song. That's when uh, Leo gave us the greatest. Uh, yeah, the interlude. <laughs> the greatest yeah. interlude the, the, of the, the new generation. Yeah. Yeah. That's when they they mm. chucked him out, and he was crying on the voice <laughs> notes. Break so, down the David joint yeah, and think, that's I don't think I ever told anyone where that VN where the voice note came from. Eh? Yeah. So David was like a song on its own. It had just um. Hook, verse, hook, mm. done. Because that's how we normally did songs back then. But you speak on it, though, on David. The on the sitch, ne? Of Leo of having Leo to... Yeah, 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 yeah. You do yeah, touch on sure. it on the song. For yeah. sure. So, well, the album was done already, ne? Mm. Um, And then that's when the whole thing with Lucas was happening. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm telling Leo, like, yo, dog. So I'm telling him like, yo, dad, this and this is happening. Mm. I don't know how to feel because like, yo, bro, this is the guy. Like, mm. the reason I'm even chilling in the studio, in cards, the even the reason I even have an album is this guy. And now it's like just weird. So I don't know how to feel. So Leo told me that thing. That's literally oh, so the just response. keeps spanning. Yeah, it just keeps spanning. <laughs> keeps spanning, You know what I mean? And I was like, hey, sharp. So I put that on the album, and then that was, that was, that was the that last... That was a perfect interlude. That was that the last thing song. I put on the album, and then, yeah, that's... That was the last stamp to the that album? That was the stamp. I was like, hey, yeah. That's if fine. Leo says it's going to happen, then we do it. If Leo move. says, man, <laughs> just keep spanning. Ah, then we just move. Gonna, just going to keep spanning. That's... I I used to play that song like at least twenty times in a row. That's that's my jam. same with Pepper. Cause I used yeah. to stay with him. Moon getting a shower in jail. Yes. Trust me, man. That's how it is. Trust that time. <laughs> On repeat, foot yeah. shower in the bed. I'm telling you. Uh, another standout song on the album. Your debut is crazy. By the way, super crazy. Uh, I think which one should we start with? I mean, Sega comes first. Okay, let's do Sega. Mm. What was going on when you made that joint? So and Sega... You didn't, did you expect that song to connect like that? Definitely. I can tell you for sure that I knew that the song was going to be because like that. Because of the birthday level. Because of the birthday level. The birthday level. Where did you peep that birthday <laughs> trick? <laughs> Who did so, you peep it on? Okay, every time, I, every time I speak about Sega, I say that like I, I did the melody in, in, in grade 10, like in, in high school. But it was a whole different song. It was about shit. different shit. 
But I don't ever sing it. So today I'm going to sing the original, <laughs> how Sega was supposed to be in the beginning. Yeah. But then I changed it because, you know, we're in a different time now. And it, yeah. it was just, they were going to cancel me. So the song, the song was supposed to go, Yes, born I see daggy way. Yeah, go go see Porta. I'll see you guys. You know what I mean. Yeah. So that's what that was the that was the original. That's the original joke. So that one was about like yeah, like you can hear what it's yeah, about. Yeah, go to come on, give us. Come on, you know. <laughs> and then, and then when I wanted to, so I had the melody and everything, and I was like, okay, it's time to record this song now, because mm. I was actually live this side, mm. and. Something was playing and I was like, yo. So you used to rock it in grade 10 at school? Like your niggas know it or was it just No, no, you? no, it was just me. I was like, yo. You just had it when this I, whole time. When I'm, when I'm like kind of established and I'm rapping, I want to surprise people with this sort of like gassy flavor. That's like, crazy. Township thing. And then the time came yeah. and I was on a live and I was singing it. Yo, I was super lit. Like I was <laughs> drunk, bro. And then I was like, yo, I'm actually going to record this now. I was live. And I took the mm. phone and I went that side to Crisis Place and I told him, yo. Shy this thing goes, uh, the melody. Mm. Ding, 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 ding. I was trying and Christ was like, yo, yeah. bro, come on, damn. No, <laughs> so do it, boy, do it. So he did it, and I was still live at the time. Recorded the song on the live. Yeah. I don't know if anyone has it, but I recorded the song on the live, and yeah. I started playing it, and then Giri actually called me, and my live stopped. You know when someone calls you? Yeah. Giri calls you like, yo, dog, trust me. <laughs> he called this is the one. <laughs> this is the one. I was like, yeah, we're sham. So I came on and I finished it. Mm. And I was like, I don't want to just drop it because at the time, big time slapper and uppity and stuff like that yeah, was yeah. going crazy. Very trap sound. Mm. And I was like, I just let me just put it on the album. It was a just surprise on the album. I was yeah. like, what so, the hell? Yeah, that's how that song came about. Mm. I'm glad it, that I turned into a birthday song because yeah, that would have been like the another. Other one. You think the other one would have been trouble, no? Uh, well, yeah, that one would have been But that birthday song trick also is a very fire trick. Like, because I, I saw it, like, the most recent one before before yours, and they all worked. Something, no? Something so, so and the Drake one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They both did birthday mm. songs. They both went crazy. Your birthday song went crazy. Like, the birthday song thing was the... So I wanted mm. to figure out if you knew that as a trick going yeah. in. Yeah, no, nah, I didn't know it as a trick <laughs> going in, but, like... Obviously, when you make a birthday song, you have that in mind. Like, I hope everyone plays this on their mm. birthday. I hope everyone like. It's like fifty it cents in the club. Also, that <laughs> intro, that go shorty intro, sure. is gonna live forever because it's always gonna be somebody's birthday on mm. any given day. For That's sure. why the birthday the song thing always works. Even performance mm. vibes, it's always someone's birthday. Someone's at some birthday, show. yeah. <laughs> you know, so it always works. So mm. yeah, I, I That's knew. That's why that even the stories same. can always <laughs> go crazy. <laughs> As far as the streams, because yeah. someone on some day is playing it out there mm. feeling like, yo. It's, this one's made for me, yeah, you know? Because it's also yeah. deep. It's not like super celebratory. There's also like stuff about, you know, being thankful and being grateful for Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, That's what life. makes it a, a good yeah. song. Yeah. Mm. Very, very similar to Igon Zagil in terms of like the vibe. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. That's why I killed that as well. So this is at least... Three killed, super killed jobs, and they still have stars actually, even next to them. Yeah, mm. I'm looking at them. And then RB Blackie with the hold. The hold. You, father, come on. That's okay. Is that it's actually the best two years song old now. Um, best, like, like musically, or you mean like biggest? The best song. The best song. The Not best the biggest. Song. The best song. It's probably a hold, yeah. Very technical. Very That's a out. great song. Very thought out, very classical. It doesn't feel like you made it like how you make the trap songs. Yeah, jokes. for sure. But in actual fact, that's But you how. did. <laughs> I was about to say, but I'm sure you did. It was just another day, just making another song. Mm. So, I used to stay with Dando and Pepe and them, and Dando used to play a lot of like um, R&B playlists from like his Spotify. You know, mm. every morning, Miss Clean has like a playlist to Dando, just mm. R&B songs. So there's a song by Music Soul Child called um, "Half Crazy." Fire. Yeah, that that <laughs> that Fire. song because I knew it from crazy. back in the days, like when I was younger. But mm. when he played it again, it's like, yo, this song is actually. Crazy. And now you're a musician, yeah, so it's hitting so like, different. Yo, yo, mm. that song is mad, bro. Yeah. And I didn't know the name of it. I just went in the studio. I told Christ, yo, this is R&B song, but like. 
in the hook. It's like there's a lot of people singing. But now the backing sounds like the main vocal. I was explaining that thing. <laughs> yeah. How it sounded in my head. And then, yeah, we did it. But we didn't know the song until like two, three days later when Dando played it again. And I was like, yo, this Wait, is the so song. Then you did what? Then you did Hold? Yeah, Hold was a quick thing, bro. Hold was, took like... Who produced Hold? Um, Vogan and Christer. Vogan, mm. Loud Hailer, shout out to him. And the mood, what what was the mood? Oh, you just from... Or was yeah. it, were you coming from I Kenya? mean, there was... <laughs> <laughs> what, there why was, did you choose the R&B that day? It was okay. I, there was some stuff going on at the time. Mm. Um, oh, you did need the because we didn't speak because we didn't we didn't we didn't really speak we didn't, we don't really speak about uh, like how like my relationship status at the time when everything was sort of going crazy and yeah. and I was moving around like just yeah like things weren't really like working working out whatever of I was course. trying and you still had a girl then in Germany yeah right? I mean I think I remember you're still shouting her out on Instagram yeah 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 <laughs> you thought you were gonna bad. hold on to it. It was bad, but... It doesn't go that way. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm cool now. Yeah, shout out to her, though, for holding <laughs> you tight. So, yeah, bro. That's what I was thinking about when I made it. Yeah. Um, and that's actually the longest R&B song I have, because there was just a lot to say at the time. Yeah, usually you're just doing, like, the two minute. Yeah, it's a two minute, whatever. That one is a half. literal five minute. That one is an R&B finish song. Like, fully. It's a, Mm. Even the arrangement is like yeah. classic, you know what I mean. So the bad kings, the it was just mad. So we harmonies. did that, and I wanted to do actually um, a two track EP with that song. And there's a rain cover I did. I don't know if you know SWV Rain, um, with Belo Salo. No, rain down I don't. on me. Rain down. Oh me! How do you not know that song? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I can't think of it right now. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> we did. <laughs> we did a cover of that song yeah. um, with Bella Salo, and I wanted to do a two-track AP. But Bella was like, "Yo, dog, give me the song." Actually, so we did a video for Rain, and then while we shot the video, I did a visualizer for Hold. Mm. Then I dropped I both the on the fourteenth. Yeah, I dropped both on the fourteenth of of Feb. So that's. Two years ago now. Did you expect Hold to connect like that? Not even. Or were you just doing Not your even. thing? So, like the trap and SoundCloud mentality that I had at the time was like, yo, you do this song, you put out the song, and you see how people feel about it. So that's how that's how I was doing it. So I did the song. I, I even went live. People knew it before it even came out. Mm. Um, and then I did the visualizer. So the visualizer is like a bonus because, you know, like, if it's on YouTube, that's like extra because now yeah. they can see the face and they can see everything that's going on. It's connecting. It's like a music so it's video. Connecting differently. So I was like, yeah, I'm just do that and put it out and see how people feel about it. And then it just it just went crazy. I and don't you know. wanted it for the for the album, Ved, because this was before you put out the album. Yeah, it's before I put out the mm. album. I didn't really think oh, about you saw it for when the it connected album. Yeah, I was like, yeah, no. Because even the placement on the album is mm. like, oh, okay, I. It came yeah, in. Cause let me came in. We did a yeah, we did the soft song. So we did mm. the whole hats also like sort of a soft song. Yeah, and straight yeah, after we went into into big time slap. I am. Yeah. Alright, uh, big on big time slap. Where you actually say that? Fuck this job that I have here. I'm not gonna make it with this, guys. You guys are gonna have to put that on pause. Fuck that. Cause nah, no leave way. it, leave yeah. it, leave it, leave it. Uh, on Big Time Sniper, you actually say that you you have, uh, yeah yeah, yeah times four, and that it's gonna go crazy when it comes out. You actually say that on the verse. You know what's crazy? So to that think means about it, to when think you made Big Time Sniper, you already had. I already had, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, <laughs> you say that on the verse. Yeah, you. Yeah. That's crazy. Actually, it, yeah, yeah, it's gonna go crazy when it comes out. Mm, so. I had years like my tag obviously and mm. I used to do it all the time in like songs. And then one day in this studio actually I told Geek Yo, I just wanna make an anthem and the anthem is gonna be It's this only chart, right, yeah. You know? And I had that song for a long time and I was just I wasn't afraid to put it out. Mm. I just wanted it to be not out. Like people must just know it from when I perform oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they must know it from mm. from just like 
lives or when someone else says, yo, this yeah. is a song, you know? Must be a fandom song. Mm, just mm. one of those ones. And then, yeah, Nasty decided to jump on it. Like, I sent him a VN, like, at <coughs> 3 a.m., like, yo, mm. this is the song. I don't know how you feel about it. I had only met him once before. Yeah. And, yeah, I just, yo, I fanned out. <laughs> I was so nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you meet him? In Durban or out here? He was doing the Zulu Man of some power to him. Oof. And, obviously, um, uh, Nandy used to work at Nasty. Um, mm. I forgot at what um, label or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, so he knew me too, that, but obviously also in knew Lucas and like yeah. enjoyed like the whole um movement of just yeah. big time slapper and just young kids from Durban. So he put mm. both of us under on the, some power yeah, tour. Yeah, yeah, on the tour, I remember. That's the yeah. first time I met him. <coughs> yo, that's mad bro. I was telling him like yo He's a star, that nigga. That nigga's a star. <laughs> like yo, I can't believe like I'm right here, right now, I can't believe you booked <laughs> us. Oh, that is mad. You and gave him his flowers. Yo, and then I could see in his eyes, like, yo, all right, chap. Sure, <laughs> sure boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, all right, chap. Mm. I, know that, I know that look when I see it. But yeah. <laughs> and then, like, like two weeks later, I was like, yo, like, mm. there's a song. I really want to do it. Um, I don't know how you feel about it. Let's see, you know. Mm. Then he, you send him a VN? Yeah, of the song. Mm. I don't know if. On the tap. Yeah, let me see. Maybe I delete not tap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the DM. Yeah. Oh, he didn't have the tap. Oh, yeah, I know. I still don't actually. <laughs> You're not really like. You still that. don't. Yeah, yeah, I still don't. But yeah, bro, like I sent it to him and I was like, yo, I don't know how you come feel on, about how are you it. feeling? Wait, yeah. And he was ready to commit. Yo, that's crazy, actually, that I still have this. I'm gonna wait for Why it to load. It I'll wait for it to load. But yeah, come jail every two to you, this is what I wanna do. Then he replied, that's hard, send me a little folder. So he asked me to send him like a few songs, actually. Mm. And then that was the only one he jumped on. Yeah. Yeah. That's fire. How did that feel? I guess that's then, uh, yeah, what, that's, that's like, a bucket list. Yeah, feature, that one yeah? was like, okay. We done now. I don't even. I don't want any other features. And you said, "Yeah, I was gonna go crazy before you before, had nasty on." Before even nasty. And then you was get on nasty it. on. Oh, I sent him David. That Hectic. makes sense as well. I think I sent him yeah and David. It makes sense to send him those. That's crazy, but yeah. That's how, that's how all of that And happened. then you'll put that out and that goes crazy. Mm, how was that video. moment? Because that was also, uh, okay, I black his hair moment. So. Because that was the single before the album, right? Yeah, yeah. it was the lead single. Yeah. yeah. That one and the, and the one with Flame. <coughs> yeah, um, yeah, the Stripes. Yeah, the Stripes. Mm. So. But yeah, it was going crazy. <laughs> that was a mad one, bro. Because sure. it's like a simple... It's like straightforward, bro. It's like mm. as soon as you jump into it, you already know. But also the the thing was hitting though at the time. The what did you call it? What is it? The slogan itself. Oh yeah, yeah, the tag. The yeah, tag. Yeah. The tag was hitting because we was enjoying you as a country. We heard you yeah. say it on a couple of things, so we was rocking with you for sure, mm. for sure. So that was like a big, a big moment because, as I said, like before, like me and Lee used to speak about the stuff all the time, like. And it's crazy how it happened, like, in succession. Like, we already knew, it's okay, you're going to record this many songs, it's going to go crazy, people are going to hit you up, you're going to mind some of them, you're going to focus on this mm. one. We need the nasty one, we need the nasty, it's the Durban one, and it's the one that we... Yeah, yeah, that so we, that's another thing, the Durban affiliation yeah. made that moment so You know crazy. what I mean? Because also, I just came from the Lucas thing, Lucas also from Durban. Yeah. It's like, if I can just so put this did. together, then Durban is moving, like, the whole of Durban is going to be... That's with fire. It, you know? So, yeah. Then we planned the video. We did the video at the Vodacom Towers. It was mad, bro. It's just a dope time for me, you know? Because mm. I was just... I was just happy to be, like, on the road and just doing, like, all these different things, you know? Yeah. All these different interviews. And you were on his tour at that time also, no? The Zulu Man from Power. Some power, some power yeah. 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 Yeah, at the time, yeah. <clears throat> and then... You niggas did your tour. When did you do your tour? Was it the same year? The or same year as before now. Yeah. It was, in the summer. Yeah. 
Yeah, we did. <laughs> that was, that was crazy a too. Tour also, how was that? Like, so that's another thing that's <clears throat> crazy to niggas like us from our generation to like be able to. I mean, okay, we also went on tour on our on our album, mm. but I guess also we had we had a bigger brand like above us we had tear gas who was plugging us about the brands and all that like mm. so at y'all niggas is time it's like he needs just come off soundcloud you just put out this Whatever. album <laughs> and now you're going on tour it's yeah. just like what and the tour is rocky now mad bro it is mad. and this is your own tour you guys put the tour together yeah, yourselves yeah, M4, yeah. yeah so now we were being booked by brands and then they put <laughs> us on tour. You need yeah. to, I'm making your own tours. Yeah, it was crazy, bro. It was crazy. What was that like to go on a tour and see that, yo, I'm, I can headline <laughs> as, I can be a headline mm. act and have opening and acts on my, on my own show. That's mm. crazy. So, how can I explain this thing? I'm pretty sure Nandi sees that, that tour as like a, a last, Nandi's my manager. Yes. There was a lot put into that tour, mm. and just a lot for just the culture and belief in in that uh, in that album and, yeah. and in the brand as Blanky. You know what I mean? Mm. Put a lot into it. You know, we didn't have much time to like sort of organize it, but we knew that mm. if we do Durban first and we get like content <coughs> from there, mm. it's over. Like it's we can gonna do. plug. Yeah. yeah, that's a smart move. So we did Durban, the warehouse, legendary place. Mm. Um, shout to. Who started A One Wolf? Shout out to A One Wolf and shout out to Lavi for actually putting shout us out there. Yes. So, yeah, bro, we did it at the warehouse. I've performed before that. I performed at the warehouse like a few times with the crew, clients, and mm. the boys. We always make it go upside down, but that day, it was just mad, bro. I've never seen that many people at at the warehouse. Like the line was going like around the place, bro, Crazy. and like. There was cops everywhere. Like, the place was hot inside. It was on the news. Shit. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the other yeah. thing was mad, bro. Because, like, wild. there was and traffic and everything. Show. It's my first headline show, you know what I mean, for the album. It's the first day of tour. It rained a bit during the day, and I was like, wait, well, hey, you know, mm. it's going to be one of those mm, ones. Mm, mm. But then it stopped, and then the kids just started pulling up, bro, and I was just, like, getting, like, so nervous and anxious because mm. it's like, you know, I'm back at this place where, like, literally where I came out yeah. and I'm about to do, like, my own show. So it was just, yeah, it was crazy. So many people, so many people from back then that I knew that were mm, there. That were in the crowd, that's mm. crazy. It was just mad, bro. I had, I think I had Reese there, eh? Yeah, maybe also that's another reason. Yeah. <laughs> I had Reese And there. Nasty came out. No, no, no. Nasty not, didn't not, come not out no, in Durban. No. Shit. Yeah, was... I, saw, I actually saw the footage of that. There's a, there's footage of that on YouTube. I saw okay. that of the Before the Now tour. Thing. Yeah, yeah. I saw the Reese performance and your performance. Yeah. I was like, yo, it was going, it was going down, bro. Crazy out there. It was going down. Then after that, we did Josie. Like I think the day after. Shout out to Net to Reese for for yeah, doing for that, for pulling up. For pulling up. Yeah, Shout out to Reese. Reese is a, a real nigga. Yeah. That's before he even had a. Yeah, song. that's why I fucked with that. I was like, oh shit! Mm. Shout out to him, cause it's not like you know he's. Yeah. Yeah. It's just yeah. supporting, it's showing no, love. No hesitation even, you know what I mean? Um, That's fine. I don't think I hit him up directly, but mm. it ended up getting to a point where we were speaking about the show, like, yo, it's going to be crazy and whatever. I linked up with him in Durban, actually, before the show. Mm. I saw him at the show, you know, he did his thing. When my, oh, I had my loom, Cool Cat also. Cool Cat also that, pulled up, shout out that, to him. Yeah. That's fine. But yeah, bro. That's legendary in Durban. Yeah. That's a legendary lineup. To That's why I need together. to do a bigger one. I need to do most yeah, my Yeah, you got to go back. Most my beta. Yeah, stadium, man. Watch it. Just That's, watch. I mean, it's only right. Also, when I see, like, even in that show, seeing the whole performance, I was like, <laughs> yeah, when you do that joint, it's the mad, word for bro. word is crazy. It is crazy. It is crazy. And the thing with shows like that, it's like you know that everyone is there to see you. Cause like yeah, the, it's your fans. Yeah, because the main thing is like before now, it's all blanky. Mm. So like you know that even if it's not everyone, it's basically 80, 90% of those people yeah. 
are there to see you. You know what I mean? So it's like you always know, you know, you can just start the song and switch it off and everyone will just carry Everyone will be you. rocking. And it's that feeling mad. is priceless. It's mad, bro. But yeah, we did Josie, we did Bloom. Then I went to Botswana for the first time. Also with Reese. Mm. Super packed. Um, Crazy. Yeah, I think though I think that's all we did actually, cause yeah, the the resources were just getting too too much to do, mm. but I was like satisfied, cause like yeah, you had it. seen something. Yeah, cause yeah. we touched a few places here and they say then we shot the Botswana way, and it's like all right, you know, there's people listening. We got some, you know, mm. we can let's carry on moving. Yeah. Another thing I love that you did different was, in your ascension to popping off. You you was giving niggas verses. For sure. Which people don't usually do. For sure. That's what I was saying. Like like I did the the Rooch thing mm. before like anything. Before yeah. big time, before anything. I did what's that song? Popular, the one with MT. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. She did like a mega mix and I was on oh, it. Oh, you were on that. Mm. Oh, okay. And then I obviously Bambalela, that was the first big feature because Casper was on it and Foker. Mm. But at the time, Foco wasn't like really like within like that. Yeah, yeah, but Casper yeah. was and Pepper, mm. obviously. So, Bambalela did his thing. Mm. Um, who else, bro? There was a, there was, there was a few. Pretty Ugly also. Mm. Um, and yeah, just other stuff that I did, but never really happened. Like, never really like yeah. came out. I even did a Vic Mensa thing before the album. That was mad. Because, <laughs> yeah, bro, in the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. <clears throat> Fox actually told me. What if Vic actually left Duh, out Vic, here oh, yeah, came Fox to rock out? Fox yeah. here also, yeah. The Vic Mensa thing, that was crazy. I still have the song, but, yeah, like... But just... you didn't shy away from giving, even, like, to the upcoming artists. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Also, there was, like, a backlog. I'm going to tell you what you're doing. 2020, I used to do like features for like that low <laughs> price. So those guys, some of them didn't take out the songs, and then like when oh, when it was that time, and all then of a sudden <laughs> people are taking out the songs, like you know what I mean. <laughs> so, so there, there were some opportunities taken also. also. And then in with features, you know, I did also did features on like different, you know, podcasts and different radio shows that weren't big at the time, but I was able to, you know, what I'm saying touch all of them and yeah. you know. I what's know, what's the mentality on that? Because usually when people are popping, they don't want to really, you know, associate. They just want to rock out with only mm. the big names. I think, like, I learned a lot about, like, collaboration when I was with, when I was with the boys. Not when I was, when, mm. when I was running with them in Durban, with the clients mm. and the boys. Because, like, the, that's, it's a simple formula. Like, you have fans, I have fans. Mm. Within those fans, there's probably people that listen to both of us. Yeah. Or are interested in what both of us are doing. We mm-hmm. just put them together. You know what I mean? Just for this one moment. Doesn't mean man just sits or sleeps since I entered it. <laughs> just for that one moment, we're together and the fans are together we're and rock. it's just it's more. You mm. know what I mean? So that's the same thing with like um interviews. It's like there are people that are watching. Like yeah. you wouldn't you wouldn't be on your sixth or seventh interview if no one yeah. was telling you good to you. You rocking right out, yeah. Do, you know what I mean? So it's <laughs> yeah. like, okay, if there are people, let me bring my people to also, you know what I mean, mm. and your people, and then, you know, you continue with my they, people, <laughs> I continue, you know? It's yeah, like that, we just move yeah. bro. We just move Because you also gave me a verse from Sun to Sun. Yeah, Thank you. for sure. Shout out for, for sure. that. We yeah, rocked out. <laughs> <laughs> Shout that out. was a fire time. We pulled fire up in PTA. Also. <laughs> we went crazy at the crib. <laughs> That was Crazy. nuts. Shout out for that. Shout that out. In Quarry Lodge. You, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah, we need another one. Dog. Did you actually do it on uh, on New Year's? Yeah, but I wasn't there because my son was born. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I actually had yo, to that miss was funny. Inquiry. That was crazy. That was funny. I was like, yo, this, <laughs> this is this is obviously the realest nigga, dog. You can't be <laughs> as your post team joking. It's rough here. That's all. Uh, this guy's here yeah. saying, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a quick We are here. It's rough. Yeah, that's and mad. For me, it's like in that moment, it's like because I think uh, when we talked about it with the KO, he was like, he used a nice word. He was like, I repurpose uh, a lot of things. I was like, yeah, I like that word. And it's like, yeah, because for me, 
as much as yeah, it's a real thing. She show me the party. Like, <laughs> yeah, this to, is what happens. And like, it's also one of the only ways to go through it, like properly. You know yeah. Because I mean? you know, if if you're not doing that, then you're not like fully into it. You're not fully. You're involved. not in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if you know, because your woman keep it for you, I'm lying in the look. Shoot me valley like. Yeah, I'm locking bad, in. Yeah. Also, for me, it's like there's no reason for us to panic or act like this is like let's take this <laughs> serious and yeah. it's like when a woman's gonna give birth she goes through contractions it's not like something's going wrong like mm. this is a part Life. of the deal yeah, this is a part of the thing but, and for me like to keep it as light hearted as possible was my whole intention because it's like my girl is already going through the craziest <laughs> shit like, be a balance. if I panic with her then she's gonna feel it like it's doom but I mean, if I'm keeping it composed and I'm just making her feel like, oh, no, it's all right. But we're just going to go to the hospital. We're just going to pop this young and out. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to head back to the crib. Yeah. It's nothing too crazy, you know, just to help us get through it. But yeah, that was fun. What were we talking about <laughs> when, I, when that came up? Congrats, 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 yeah, congrats. Thank you, thank you. That you. That's, I mean, that's, so, sure. that's another thing. That's uh, I'm just at the crib mm. since then. Cause yeah, I'm just bro. watching this nigga like experience his his introduction to his the world, first. which is crazy. It's Everything like, for the first time. It's like even the first week, I was like, "Yo, this is only your first week uh, on yeah. earth." <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. You don't it's know like, what's coming. When I look at him, it's like he's just a nigga who doesn't know shit. Like, <laughs> you just sleep, sleep, you child. hop on the tin, <laughs> shit. <laughs> You just go back to sleep, you <laughs> hop on the seat, you like, you don't know the damn thing. It's like wild to look at. <laughs> so I guess, fuck. But yeah, what was the project after that? Was it the formula or the for love? What was it? It was for love after that. For love, man? Yeah. I, so that means my question is right. So you go from hold on yes. your first album. Yes, to And a now whole for project. love, now you, you, now you have a cold house all of a sudden. Yeah, on, so on this project, <laughs> <laughs> you came in needing to be held. Now you have a cold heart. Yeah, what so changed? so what hold? If you listen to it properly, the first verse is different from the second verse. The second verse is more about like pain and mm. and trying to heal pain and stuff like that. The first verse is like classic, like yeah. like time now, whatever mm. shop. So I've I saw a lot of people relating to the second part. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Wait, so not like that I, is. I, it's rough. <laughs> You're feeling guys, it, not yeah. just me. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. Um, so after recording whole, that was like my first full like R and B song to record. Yeah. I think like even the day after I recorded whole, I was recording more R and B songs. Like, yeah. I try to record as much singing songs as I can because I don't know what to voice. I mean, did you, you always know? know you could sing? Were you always singing or were you trying nah, it out then at that nah. time? So, shout out to the preset. Shout out to Almeca and, <laughs> and, and, and Loki, Haiki and, you know, all the guys. So, in Durban, we, we recorded on, on Foodie Loops, ne? Mm. So, on Foodie Loops, there's a... Oh, mm. when, you, <laughs> <laughs> when you record, it's always best to have um, a preset. Everyone knows what a preset is, yeah. So it's like just to make your voice sound clean, make it sound professional or whatever. So we have our own preset as the guys in at Cloud Internet Boys. Yeah. And it's called Slide. Oh, it is one we built from from the ground up, like <laughs> everything, like the from the EQ to the reverb to the delay, everything was made by us to the point okay. where to the so we kept tweaking it to a point where it's like, yo, this one actually works everywhere. You know what I mean? Okay. Everywhere we go, she has a good team. Meso, meso, totally slats in your bed. We present it. It's a whole. Meso, totally slats. So we used to rap with it first, mm. and then we started singing with it, and then that's when we got introduced to the auto tune and um, what's the thing called Antares and all that stuff. Mm. And we studied the auto tune, and then we're like, yo, this is it. This is how we're gonna be making music from now on. <laughs> Sing rapping, mm. you know when you shout it, the trap also, and you sort of like sing and on you it. Still, yeah, yeah. Play with so it. that's where that's when I got introduced to singing because we're not really belting out notes. Yeah, yeah. We just like sort of we hear yeah, like yeah, very we we chilling. Yeah. So mm. that's how I got to know how to use my vocals in that way, and then I used that same preset to record hold. 
Mm-mm. Obviously tweaked by Christa in order for it to yeah. mix with the drums well or whatever. And then after that, I started recording more songs alone. Like, mm. yeah. Um, just with that preset. We but still now have you it. have the you have the backings, you have the harmonies. Same you have presets. The... You just put. It but low. where are you getting that from as a rap <laughs> nigga? <'Cause> so, <laughs> nah, okay, like to when I was growing up, I wasn't listening to rap. I was listening to more like deep house, like old Fista Z and Black mm. Coffee and Monique Bingham. So you used to catch the the harmonies when you're yeah, singing those handles. For sure. So mm. that's that's where it started. Then a lot of Neil Soul, so Lyra and Tandi Swan. Mm. Um, oh, I used to love Monewa. Monewa was crazy. Yeah, Monewa was lit. So, yeah, that's when I learned, like, okay. That's crazy. This is mm. backings. You know, mm. this is how you make the song feel full. Give it the, the Give tools. It the depth. Mm. Yeah. So, that's where, that's where I learned that from. And then, yeah, that's how I ran with it. Mm. Mm. So, the full R&B project. Mm. So. You just now want to kill them. And it came yeah. what? This is 2020 what? One? Or 2022, mm. no? Yeah, that's love. Yeah. Last That's year, crazy, Feb actually, was, yeah. was in Jolo older. time, no? Yeah. Yeah. This type time. This time, time, yeah. Mm. So I had all those songs, but that one is deeper. That one is better than the album in terms of just like having a set theme, you know? Because before now, it's not a, there's no theme to it. It's just a yeah. bunch of random it's songs a, and stuff. Yeah, it's a bunch of songs, mm. yeah. But. For Love had more direction. Yeah, that's a directed project. Yeah, yeah. for sure. You can so, tell there's an intention and yeah. there's... Yeah. So, yeah, I got Nicole on the first song. And then, mm. yeah, I sort of I sort of just recorded like a few songs. I named it For Love because I wanted to touch like all the aspects of it. Because yeah. since people were liking that second verse, I was like, okay, how do you feel about this situation? Mm. Or how do you feel about that situation? Yeah, yeah, you touch on the, the yeah, different aspects different of... Of all time. Jolo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's how that came about. I don't want to make it a long one. I could have mm. made it like 10, 15 songs, but I was like, it was perfect. Like Let's that, keep it yeah. concise, yeah. Because also R and B songs, my R and B songs are way longer, so I don't want to like. Mm. I don't. don't I don't even become, bump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even bump albums for that long. Like, like yeah. an hour, whatever. It's like ish. It's, it's become, dope, but it's now become it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking for a note. <laughs> the attention span these mm. days, dog, is messed up. This is, yeah, so that's 2022. So 2022, you pretty much just cruising through the year, just putting out projects, because then you come with the formula later. Yeah, formula later came on. after that. Yeah. That's now back on your trap shit. Yeah, for sure. So the formula, you know what I was saying about like just the wrong energy in terms of dropping? Mm-hmm. I think the formula was like one of those things for me. It's like there's always something that you want to put out just because you heard something or just because you felt something. Like it's not oh. because you felt <laughs> like you want to put out a project mm. for your fans. It's more of like, yo, hey, these guys are not really you're, taking you're me seriously. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think about that thing a lot, bro. I don't know what it is about like rappers or just like the attitude as an artist. Mm. But like, how how however hard you try, there's always gonna be someone that's gonna touch you. It's gonna just say something like, "I gonna man, I am sorry, if you know what I mean." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that thing's gonna replay in your head like all day, like yo, hey, shoot and then you're gonna feel the need. Like, yeah. So that's what I felt like. You know, it was very abrupt. I know after that the R and B project. Mm. Okay, I get. Okay, because I guess, after the, people were kind of crying. Then. Yeah, because after the R and B project, I. Not after, before, I did Gunzegile. Gunzegile, yeah. And stuff. So those songs went crazy. Gunzegile, Siga, mm. uh, Sondela so was also singing. going crazy. Yo, Sondela was also. Sete was also going mad. Because that's also last year. Sete is Around that time. Day, yeah. 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 So it's like, <laughs> I shouldn't put you <laughs> in the yeah, top five rappers or what. Shouldn't you? <laughs> shouldn't you? <laughs> Leave it. Shouldn't you? Okay, I... So I kept seeing that brand. I'm like, eh, should I ignore it or what? Because it's not like... I'm going to tell you that told me. I'm not going to tell you. Cause, Yo, I actually rap now. I'm just going to leave you. Mm. Think what you think. thinking. Let you fry. And then see too. what I'm doing. You know what I mean? And it's like, that's the wrong energy to like put out for so a So that's project. where that project came from. Yeah, it was just like, sort of like, yo, dog, I'm still... I you still know, got still it. still rapping, me, yeah. dog. Look at me, dog. Um, I don't put much into it in terms of like mm. effort like around it. In mm. terms of like interviews and videos. I think there's only like three videos on there 
Mm. I'm going to put out one now. It's going to be crazy. Which is a lot, kind of. You know, people don't it be is. Doing, doing that much. You've actually become way more visual now. Yeah, mm. yeah, for sure. That was the plan because... And yeah. uh, actually, quickly to go back to the year times four, the cry of the visual. How did you feel about that? Because they were on you for that yeah, visual. Like, uh, it's because, I mean, that's what you get when but you... But coming up. Yeah, because Thunder was also coming up. Yeah, that was, was like his third or fourth video. Trying his hand at it, mm. yeah. And it was a big project because like, it's a big song. Yeah. So we did put a lot into it. You know, I, I hadn't done like styling or like makeup or anything before that. Mm. Till know? that day. And it still came out the way, <laughs> the way it did. <laughs> and still they cried. Yeah, because... Yeah, bro. It's just, yeah, but it's now you're killing out. the visuals. Who's handling the visuals now? Ah, different people, bro. Different people. Yeah. I work with Morale a lot. He's dope. Yeah, um, he's lit. Uh, Sutra he's lit, lit. and uh, and Darian, those guys. Mm. Um, David Gonzaguile and Siga also. So mm. yeah, bro. It's just Clean just visuals. working with different people mm. that you know are like catching the vibe. Uh, they known for you know putting out clean visuals, putting out clean work, and you know just. It's the budget now. That's the main thing. Yeah, it's the budget. <laughs> yeah. That's the main thing. Because that is that is what determines how it comes how out. It comes out, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. So, I remember also having spoken to you earlier last year. Very, you were talking about just cruising through the year, you know, putting out just some light projects. Mm. But mm. you're planning to do an album this year, yeah? Yeah, I am, I'm planning on it. But, you know, there's, you there's obviously a lot more lot more going on outside of music. Um, okay, what does that mean? Just, I mean, it's, if it's... You're on them level now. No, 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 no that's, not even, <laughs> that's not even part of it. I mean, like, I'm still on it, like, in a So uh, there's hey. a lot you have to think about in terms of business and money, like, is why happy and whatnot. Yeah, yeah oh, so you don't just help in the studio yeah, and just record know, and it, give. Now it's more planned, bro. And also... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you're trying to, you know, not trying to be, like, independent forever. You know mm. what I mean? There, there are some benefits of being in, like, a... To have, yeah. Legal, you know, yeah, so yeah. you need that sort of backing. Mm. Also, you're trying to, like, get out of... Not get out of SA, but just, like, branch out. Of course, yeah. You know, so there's a lot to think about every time mm. you record a song these days, you know. Ooh, okay. For me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know? mm. it's like... So making this album is not going to be as easy as the first It's not album. as easy. No, it's not just putting songs together anymore. Now it's like, yo, this direction. Do you feel like you've started? I feel like I've started. Do you started. have any songs for this album? There's mad songs, bro. There's a lot of songs for that this you album. feel like I'm going to make it on the album? Doug, I'm telling you. Mm. Like, yeah, and David is nothing. Compared to what's going on now. Like, for real? Basically, That's lit. That's it's nothing, bro. But, yeah, it's just a lot going on. Like, I don't know if I want to rush it. Because mm. back then, like, if I had the songs I have now, I'd be like, yo, let's You're do gonna it. You're going to go straight. Let's do it. We need to do it. Let's yeah. do the album. Let's do videos. Let's go. But now it's like, yo, you know, what's happening? Like, mm. what's next in terms of, like, where yeah, Blackie yeah. is? It has to be aligned. You know? And you're very brand conscious, really, no? For sure. For yeah. sure. You don't, just, you don't just motion and zap. I just <laughs> do the <Sub> <laughs> I don't move some trouble, bro. <laughs> You put respect <laughs> on your motion. Yeah, that's shout out to the team, bro. Cause yeah, they take that shit seriously. Mm, no? Because normally you only get that sort of like advice, like if you're in like a real, you know, <clears throat> label or whatever. But these yeah. are just like, you know, about the hey, they know that they I've shit. grown fond of actually that that yeah. are close to me now. Um, that can tell me like, yo, this is what you need to do, you know, and this is how this works. So if yeah. ever, cause it's not like they know what see. This is just like a stepping stone. I'm mm. obviously going to have like another team, you know, as time goes on or whatever. And yeah, that's this is what I need to know when I link up with other people. Mm. See, if this guy is a publicist, then this is what you're expecting from him. Mm. And this is what he's expecting from you type of thing. Yeah. Different aspects also. Because the plan is to go international, of course. For sure, worldwide. Yeah. Sounds that way, like sonically in the mm. music. And you are that caliber of artist, I think. Shout you know, out. My, my opinion. Because uh, I think even when we saw you on the... What's the JR handle? Yeah, it feel good. You have a classic feel good, ne? They love your feel yeah, good. Yeah, that one, yeah. It connected. That's fire. What do you... 
So besides, okay, the things you've said about the album is pretty much where you're at right now as far as the plans for the future of your mm. career, ne? For sure. That's where you're sitting right now. Yeah. Um, there's also, like, different topics to touch on. There's obviously a lot that's happened between, like, the first real album and, like, Life whatever's going to come out changed completely next. also. Yeah. So, yeah, the sound also has changed, you know. Mm. Grew up a little bit, the of voice course. a little bit deeper mm. and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah you're not hear, skinny like, anymore. Yeah, it's, you know, <laughs> big, big. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the shows are different, the The movement is different. Yeah. So, yeah, you're you probably going to hear that come out in the songs, yeah. Okay, before we go, in Paprika, why did you fire him? <laughs> Why did you find so double I mean, P's playing now? Ish. Is it tricky? It's the ish dog. Because he's also, you know, from. From way, way, yeah. He's, he's also the reason. Um, yeah. He picked me up, actually, to Ex- come here. So, yeah. how do I explain this thing, dog? Ish. It's deep, man. But what I can say is yeah. that there's no animosity between me. And Pepper directly. Mm. So it's, there's no it's, young with you. No, never. Even me and Lucas, it's not directly. It's just the part that you decide to take mm. sort of like interferes with like the part that you began with in terms of like the team and your management. Mm-hmm. So if those people at the top are fighting and then you gotta also like join and be like, yo. Actually, you, you know what I mean? Actually, <laughs> then, like, dog, obviously, it's going to affect our relationship because, man, you know. Then you can't be in the cut, really. So now it's like, I get. I didn't find him, though. He decided to just yeah. leave. And I don't even know if he's with, fired or what, but just. But with Double not D, it's DJing rocking anymore. out, though. It's, yeah, yeah, it's moving. It, it seems like it's. <laughs> it's rocking. It's moving, yeah, 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 yeah. Also, shout out to Double D for putting me onto the auto tune. On uh, the performance, I see the performance has become better with Double T. So you, it's mad. <laughs> that's I mean that's if it's a business call and then it works out that way. It's <coughs> facts. Shout out to Paprika, though he's a good dude, and yeah. he believed in niggas. He fought yeah. for niggas from the ground up. From the ground up, also you know did one of the biggest songs with him also with him that's it. Mm. Um and yeah, he actually is responsible for like most of the shows I was doing back then also, cause yeah, I was yeah, able yeah. to touch like, you know what I mean like different. That's why I'm like he fought for the niggas. He yeah. he was he put it yeah. on the streets like he put in work. He pulled up his bootstraps and you know mm. got it in. Shout out to him. Uh, Jolo level. I saw you for the Valentines. You're yeah. going crazy. Everybody knows, bro. But uh, you know, key on the young stand emotion, eh? <laughs> Which one is that one? <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that one? Oh, on the mania handles. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think I've seen you with like the cobbler. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. This is not the. A... <laughs> no, no, no. When? I haven't <laughs> seen Zinga in like dog. <laughs> In man, she doesn't go to the club now. But the motion you with now is not the motion you're on the last time I beat you. This no. this motion you're on now is a new motion, no? No, it's not new. Dog, it's been like three years now. Oh, you've been locked like yeah. this? Okay. Dog, I haven't seen you in okay, a while. Okay, respectfully, respectfully. You wildin', bro. <laughs> so you're not on the Young Standard wave? Young Standard's also locked in. <laughs> <laughs> Young Standard's locked in, dog. But you've seen the accusations on the net. Yeah, you know what happens, man. Right? You know what happens. Mm. Obviously, as time goes on, <laughs> you take a lot of pictures in the videos mm. with, like, people that you're with at the time. Yeah, so yeah. when it comes out on Twitter, obviously, like, people are going to send stuff they've seen from two years ago. Mm. So now you have, like, a flipping, like, an array of just videos of you with people that seem like it's been That's looking this like year, it's... But it's, like, over, like, you know, years, so... That's what happened to Stana. That's what I know happened to Stana. Mm. You can see, dog. Some videos is skinny. Some videos is haircuts difference. Like, dog, come on. <laughs> Stop playing with Sandila, man. <laughs> Don't play with Sandila, man. <laughs> uh, on our way out, um, I saw in the other room, your plaques are just on the ground there. You don't care about them. 
<laughs> what is wrong with you? No, dog. I have to. I have to get the the framing. You've got like what? Done. How many plaques? Is it like six or seven? Yeah, yeah. It's like eleven, twelve, thirteen. Some of them. I, I, That's crazy. I, I have them in Durban at like my mom's place. My parents. That's crazy. Place. That's like in two years of running mm. in the game. You got like eleven plaques. Mm. Shout out to you, nigga. Mm. That's crazy. Niggas don't come in like that. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't it. come in like that. And then you became a part of the biggest song to come out in the past. I don't know how long it said the decades. The and anomaly. They tried, they tried to play with you on your verse when it came out. Yeah. But it didn't last. It didn't last, dog. Uh, but people still play with me. I mean, it's. It's fine. They play with everyone, dog. Yeah, true. I guess in the song, everyone's like, yo, ah, KO. Ah, young Yeah, I've was, seen yeah. also the, ah, KO. Yeah. It's like, come <laughs> on. These niggas at the show, it's dog. word for word at the shows. You know, that's just, that's just South Africa, you, bro. They're always going to find a, mm, somewhere to pick. That's true. Mm, but, yeah, bro, shout out to KO for putting us on. That's a, like a, yeah, that's, a that's monumental. Song, that's crazy. Mad. Yeah, and he shouts you all out heavy also. For all the time. Mm. All the time. Yeah. It's kind of God did. <laughs> it's kind of God did, <laughs> mate. Shout out to you, but you've done well. Appreciate it. Appreciate man. you for coming to Chapel Lane with Buddha T. Uh, toast to, do you want to toast for us to, the, toast to the future? What are we looking forward to? I put you see him, huh? What are you toasting to? You, you give okay. us Okay, I'll give you, I'll give you a, a dope one. Mm. Uh... South by Southwest, Texas. Black is familiar with a man. Ooh. One month from now. Fuck yeah. That's where we at. Let's go. Shout out. Shout out. And rest in peace, Kenan Forbes. For sure. So me, I'm at the greatest. Long live. Like live long. <laughs> live long. Thank you. Nice. Let's go.